and we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition. We're here in Medellin, Colombia, with a bunch of girls, man. Let's get into it. Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. All right, and we're back. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. So uh, I'm just going to make one announcement. Rumble.com slash Fresh Fit Man, because we're going to get right into the show, have the ladies introduce themselves. So uh, we're going to start here. Give us your name, your age, what you do for work. Don't worry, we'll, we'll guide you through it. So <laughs> well, first, we'll start with uh, what's your name? All right, my name's Susanna. I'm 19, and I study. Okay. Um, and what's your highest education level complete at high school? I'm in college right now. You're in college right now. Yeah. Okay, and what are you majoring in? Uh, vet and so yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a vet. You're a vet. Okay, yeah. are you pre- studying to prepping be a vet? for a vet? Okay, yeah. and then relationship status? Single. Okay, cool. And then fresh, can you handle the the thing? I'm gonna get a piece of paper. All right. What about your name? Okay, so my name is Isabella. Mm-hmm. I'm 21. I just turned 21 on six. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I also I'm I'm also prepping to be a vet. I'm with her actually in the same college. And you guys are yeah. friends. Yes. That's trouble. What's and your favorite? What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal. Well, I like. I really like horses, so I would say horses. Okay. And then dating status? I'm single. Single. I yeah. can tell. And then, <laughs> uh, okay, then. highest education completed. Um, what? I'm sorry. Highest level of education. You're studying with yeah, her too. Yeah, college. Cool. All right. Thank yeah. you. What about you? Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm Lorena. I'm 25 years old. Uh, right now, I work as a translator, but also I'm a civil engineer. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? What, what was the other question? I'm sorry. Uh, dating status? Ah? Huh? Dating status? A uh, single dating someone? Actually, I saw you on Casey's uh, video yeah. as well. <laughs> video that's why I know you're single. Yeah. yeah. yeah you, did not, you looked very single on my stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you? Hi, my name is Sara. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a realtor. Realtor? City. Yeah. All right, and uh, dating status? Single. Single. Yeah. And then highest level of education? Um, I graduated from, um, what's the name? Management uh, design, fashion design. Okay. And you say you're a realtor, right? Yep. How many properties have you sold so far? How many properties I uh, sold this year? Yeah, this year. Like two. <laughs> okay, better than nothing. All right. Yeah. Her Instagram will but be in the description. they are expensive houses, so okay. that's good. Okay. Okay. At least, at least you did some work, so that's good. Yeah, no. What about you? Okay, hi, my name is Isabella. I'm 19 years old. Well, I'm 18. Mm. I'm going to be 19 in two days. Um, okay. I'm taken. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> How long have you been together? Nine months. Nine months? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is, he, is he American or is he from Colombia? No, he's Colombian. Colombian? Okay, cool. And I'm currently working while I go to college on friends. Okay, perfect. What about you? We'll do you last, bro. <laughs> my name is Viviana. Um, I'm 28. Mm-hmm. What was the other question? Uh, what do you do for work? Huh? What do you do for work? I am a DJ. I You're a uh, DJ? Yes, I podcast as well. Maybe you'll come to my podcast next time. What do you talk about? I th- huh? What do you talk about on your podcast? I talk about complexity of the human being, quantum physics, epigenetics, mind heart coherence. The depth of a woman. Oh, so you're smart, horse, smart. Horse, prostitutes, sexuality, relations. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> and then uh, dating status? Happily engaged. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> how long, how'd you meet your guy and how long has it been? We met in Miami at a conference. It's been <sighs> a year and a half. I was living in Canada and he heard me and he said that he knew the second he heard my voice. That there was you found love in Miami? That's so rare. Super rare. <laughs> I'm rare. Okay, and what's today? Sorry? What's today? What's today? Mm-hmm. What do you mean what's today? W- wasn't it your birthday today? Independence of Columbia and my birthday. 
Too bad, too bad nobody cares. Okay, cool. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What, what about you? Um, I'm Sophia. I'm 20, and I'm on my second year of interior design. Okay. And I have a beautiful boyfriend. Okay. How long have you been together? Five months. How did you meet him? Uh, actually, eight years ago through a friend of mine, yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. And then uh, highest level of education? You would second say? year of college. Second year of college? Yeah. Cool. What about you? Pass it to Mike. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Laura Dalani, Laura in English. I'm 25 years old. I work with stem cells and exosomes and more in sales. I also work with tourism. So like if you guys came here, hit me up. And also I, am, I do acting and modeling. Okay, cool. And then dating status? Uh, single, but starting dating. Okay, yes. that's good. What about you? Uh, hey everyone, my name is Meli. I am a songwriter and copywriter and I'm 25 years old. I studied international business management and I'm single. All right, what about you? <laughs> you nervous? Yeah. It's fine, we all are. Um, so my name is Paola, I'm 23 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I've dropped, I dropped off a, a college. Speak up, speak up. Uh, uh, just a little bit louder. Yeah, a little bit louder. Shall I say everything again? There you go. Yeah. Okay, so time. I'm Paola, I'm 23 years old, I drove at college, I'm an entrepreneur, I have a multi-services company for like reloca relocating uh, services, mm. tourism and medical tourism, so everybody who's coming to get veneers and all that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, Columbia is a good spot for veneers, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. also like, you know, group of people that need villas, mansions, all that. Uh, I'm single, uh, and I think that's, that's the question, it. right? That's it. Shout out to you. Last but not least. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. So, well, my name is Anna. I'm 23 years old. I'm a lawyer. And, well, what else? Uh, Those are the questions. Status? Well, I'm single. Okay. Yeah. And highest level of education? College. I'm oh. a lawyer. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, I recently uh, started an additional study on commercial law. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. This was a great intro, but... Guest of honor, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, this is like my second time being on the show properly. I've dropped in many, many times. My name is Casey Redbeard, and my channel on YouTube is Redbeard Rants because I'm a red-bearded man who likes to rant in your face some very strong anti-matrix opinions. And I want to say thank you to Casey for putting this together and Joanna as well for giving us this awesome spot to do it. But Casey, take it away to the first question. Yeah, ladies, so here's my first question for you. So from your perspective, what would you say are the biggest differences between gringas, American girls, and colombianas? From firsthand experience, if you've been to the US, if you've seen them here, from what you've heard from gringos, how we talk about the gringas back home, or the internet, just what do you think are the overall differences between gringas and colombianas? Uh -oh. We'll start, we'll start right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start over there. We're mixing up on you on purpose. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, okay, so can you repeat the question? Yeah, the time? biggest differences between gringas, like girls from America, United States, and Colombianas. Okay, um, so I will say that everything is cultural. I mean, uh, the cultural differences are something that, well, they're going to be always present. So, to be honest, uh, I don't want to say like the typical stuff uh, about the Colombians, but I think that uh, maybe we are most likely... Uh, Better? No, I wouldn't say that. No. Yeah, so far, so far you haven't said anything yet. So yeah, stop, stop. We have, we have the expression, you're beating around the bush. You're just kind of talking, say, but you haven't said anything yet. I want to hear an opinion. What? What was your um, opinion? I would say that uh, we have a stronger personality, I think. So like, Colombians have a stronger personality. Yeah, I will, say, I will say that, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. In, in, what, in what way? I don't know. Like um, gringas are just, they don't stand up for themselves. They're not, they're more docile and Colombianas have more fire in their blood. Is that what you're trying to say? Or, or elaborate on that, please. I don't know. I will say that maybe here in Colombia, we are maybe like somehow louder. Like, louder. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> somehow. I'll I think you that. haven't been to uh, <laughs> certain areas of United States, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that. 
Um, well, I always hear a lot of like bad things, especially because I'm in an industry where I'm around, you know, tourists and people who come and visit yeah. and they're always complaining about the women there. I don't know. I've never been there. So, but based on what I've hear, it seems like there is a lot of, uh, different culture when it comes to being feminine, naturing and, and, and yeah, I think that's what I hear. I don't know. But I do have a couple of female American friends, and to me, at least those ones, they are very educated and like, like goal oriented. So that's the only thing I have to say about the difference. It's and funny. Colombia, that coincides with not being feminine. Yeah, but go ahead, sorry. Okay. What, what, what would you think? Do, they, do you think your friends particularly maintain their femininity, or do you say they're a lot more like rough and aggressive than the average Colombiana? Um. They're not going to watch this ever, by the way. We'll block No, no, I, I, I don't care. The truth is the truth regardless. But, what, for example, my friend, she is, one of them is like, she runs a, a wealth, no, a, yeah, wealth build business in, in the state. Like a wealth management type, no, like investments uh, or no? Wellness, wellness. Oh, wellness, wellness sorry. Wellness, sorry. Okay. And she, ha and she I don't, she's 35, I think. Mm -hmm. And to me, she's like very into her businesses. I mean, she's single, but. So she's very into her business. I don't know how she's in a relationship. I don't know how she's in a relationship ways. But to me, at least as a friend, I don't know. But we get to see a different side because I'm a female friend. So I don't know how she behave, behave with when, guys, with guys right. you know? Okay, that's fair. I mean, if she's 35 and single, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't got to be nice about it. But uh, okay, what about you? Then the question, and guys, the audio should be good now. Um, I've basically adjusted some of the levels and everything else like that. But, and I checked it too, man. Some of y'all just crying about the audio, but it is pretty good. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, the question again is what's the biggest difference yeah, between from, American... from either personal experience or from what you've heard or seen from other gringos, the difference between... Uh, the biggest difference, okay, American between Colombian and, and American Colombianas. women. Okay. Not, like, not just Medellin, but Colombianas in general. Yeah, so give us like maybe one or two things you notice. Okay, that way uh, we can make sure we get through this nice and This efficient. is my opinion, and it's very general because, of course, there's always... Um, exceptions, but yeah. I feel like Colombian women are more like they care more about their physical appearance to look good, to smell good, the hair, everything. I will, will say that American women are not like that in general. You know, like there are as many Latinas in there, but yeah, and also they don't take as much pride in their looks. Yeah. Okay. What and what else? And um, I would say that is also general like Colombian girls are very like we uh, want to um, have a partner to support you know like w whether it's money or whatever but it's more like that like might be that foreigner girls mostly Americans looking for like have more independence of course Colombians too but this is something very cultural in the country that women look for a man to provide okay all right Okay, so in my personal opinion, I lived in the United States for three years. So I would say like in America, uh, the girls are more feminisms than we are here. Okay, well, more like feminist, you said. There, yes. Like, I mean, not everybody, but yeah. most of them. Yeah, feminism uh, is stronger in America. Yes, it okay. is stronger. I also would say like Colombians, we have like that flavor, that swing with music. Yeah. Flow. So, yes, 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 yes. And yeah, I think okay. that's basically it. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, I feel like it would be the way that um, we party. I don't think that they will be ever to top um, the way that we dance and the way that we, yeah. I don't know, the way that we enjoy the music and. So you're saying that yeah. Colombian girls are better dancers? Hell yeah. That's your, totally. That's your, that's your yeah. difference? I don't think you have much argument there. I can agree, I can agree on that. Yeah, All right. that's kind of it. And then, uh, that's the main difference? I mean, yeah, I feel like we just have sauce in us. Okay. Are you American yourself, or are you full, like, because um, you, you, like, you, don't, you don't have an accent, so. Well, I am American, yeah. You are, okay, I was yeah. going to say, so Colombians are better dancers than you. Where, where, did, where did you grow up? Well, I am half Colombian, uh, so, so I do, where, where I do have you, it, I do have it in up? my blood. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Michigan and here. Okay. Okay. It was kind of back and forth. It's like 50-50 mostly? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no accent. I was like, what the? Is she American? What's going on here? <laughs> Who invited you? Oh, wait, yeah. sorry. It was me. <laughs> All right, what about, what about you? What are I the biggest differences? I would say that we are a little more worldly, just because we come from a third world country. A little world bit more country. what? Worldly. Worldly. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're looking for opportunity out there. People tend to be comfortable, a first world country, 
is comfortable. They don't need to pop their bubble and go find opportunity. And can you speak up a little bit? So Did you say you're a podcaster? It's really, it's really hard. I, and I, I, I do use a great microphone, but I can't not really project my voice. Yeah, well. yeah. You, you um, speak up. So, right, so worldly. Yes. And also that, I was going to say, we really care about how we look. Um, since there's not much education here, girls tend to think that because they have to be part of that macho society, they have to be pretty so that they can be taken care of. Because if they're not, then they can just be replaced and they're going to get fucked. So it's right. more com The dating market's more competitive for women here. Yeah, well, yeah. that's why you guys are here, all of you. Like basically, yeah, fewer rich, successful, good-looking guys here to take care of the women so the women have to compete more over the fewer guys versus in America, they have a lot more options. They have to compete. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, and well, they, they work their, their logical mind a lot more because they have more opportunities. So they get to go to college and university and stuff. So they tend to have more of that masculine energy so they can apply it to businesses and stuff. We okay. don't have that opportunity for the most part. I think that all of us do here because we have education, but when we when it comes to like the middle lower class society, it's not the case. Okay. So. That's, that's all right. right. So what those of you watching at home, these are not the average Colombian girls. These are like the educated English speaking. These are the classier. True. What about you? I would say that we have like we're more more fun to be with. More fun. <laughs> yeah, like we can go okay. dancing. What she said about the party. Have you hung out with American girls before? That's how you know. I have. Okay. And they're like more shy. We're also more open-minded. I think, like in different aspects, political, religion, religion, relationships. Okay. Speak up so they can hear you. So I think that would be like the main difference. Okay. Open-minded and we're mo more. More fun and more open-minded. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about you? Mm, okay, I think um, I work with foreigners most of the time, you know, so... Work with who? Foreigners and oh, gringos. Oh, foreigners, okay, okay. Um, it's a lot of clients who are gringos and wives and girlfriends, you know, and I have a lot of friends. And I think, I just, I don't like how... They could be rude, you know, like, I, I like... Americans our, are ruder? Yeah, for me... about the men or the women or both? Uh, I think girls, like, I have a couple of stories, you know, like, being, like, no nice with the waiter or something like that. And I'm a person, like, I'm super nice, you know, and I think that's Colombian. We are, we are warm, homie. And I just, I think they are, like, you know, whatever. And they speak loud. And I don't like that. Just, just mm -hmm. you know, slow okay. and cool. All that's right. my biggest thing with them. Rude. Okay. What about you? Okay, so I'm not Colombian, but I'm Latina. I would say that the main difference is like, okay, Americans, girl, American girls get offended pretty easily. Okay. Like pretty easily. <laughs> they don't really put that much attention on being feminist if they have a career. And it's like, if you have a career, you also have to be feminine because you're a girl. And also I feel they are not really open to help in house. Like I remember when I was an American guy and he was always like, oh, it's so sweet. Or you're always like, you want me to cook something or just wash the dishes or just cleaning without me asking for it. And it's like, I think Latinas are more open to help in the house. Like, okay. We are okay with that. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah, you so yeah, basically I just think that over here in Colombia we have the opportunity to create a personality, like uh, to express ourselves and being more like ourselves, you know? <laughs> So she's giving a boring, politically correct answer. Okay. Yeah, no, wait, wait, wait. The bullshit no, answer. No, Here wait, we go. Wait, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> we in Colombia, we get the the opportunity to express ourselves more. So over there is like the girls are all quiet and submissive, and we're not. So you think I'm really? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, you think that's you I think gringas are submissive? Yeah. No, I don't think. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, did you had something, Casey? You were trying to say? No, I just want to clarify. You think gringas are more docile and submissive than Colombianas? Yes. You no, think so? They are. My friend, you are definitely wrong. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, I remember. I don't think I'm wrong, but. Okay. okay, all right. So, you think that American women are more submissive than Colombian women? Yes. No. Okay. Have you been to the United States before or no? Yes. You have. Where do you live? California. Well, I've been in California, yeah. Where in, where in California? In Rosemead and then LA. Okay. And, uh, like, I guess you never. I'm a, are you bisexual or are you... No, I'm heterosexual. So you never dated a woman? No. So you don't know, really? But <laughs> I have submissive. friends. I know how my friends are in a relationship. Okay. All right. So, yeah. I don't need to date someone to know how they if I If I can wait on this, what, I, what I've typically right. seen is that white girls don't like to submit to any... Well, not white girls. Americans. Yes. Uh, Asian, black, well, white, just American <laughs> girls don't like to submit, <laughs> especially white girls. And I can say that because I'm white. Um, 
they especially don't like to submit to uh, anybody. They always have to be right. They have to have the last word. They're very aggressive and combative, not at all cooperative. And Latinas can be very feisty in a way to like some random douchebag on the street that hasn't earned their respect or hasn't earned their submission. But when they're, when they're with that high value guy that treats them well and he's proven himself, yep. then they like to finally, okay, I'm going to submit to this man. He's a good leader. And that's, that's poppy at that point, basically. Right. Yep. Whereas gringas don't like to be submissive in any context ever at all. It's just what I've experienced in my observation. Yeah, okay. Agree. Uh, and then what do you what do you think? You agree with her? I saw you were nodding your head. Um, no, I was gonna um, add on to what you said about the feminism. Okay. And I feel like Colombians are they don't take things so personally, like the feminism. Okay. Like it's yes. not that deep here because we just don't take anything personally. Yeah, there's cancel culture here too. She don't even know what that means. Yeah. She's like cancel culture. What? <laughs> No, no, that's good. That's a good thing. It's not a thing. It's not a thing here. Cancel culture. Okay. Oh, believe me. Well, it is. Oh, it's believe me. Unless you're Casey oh, Redbeard. Jesus. I mean, for then guys. Canceled for sure. guys. The fuck are you telling? Be. There's no cancel for culture guys. here. Yeah. Guys Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> canceled for throwing a fucking party. Uh, Gringo, you're not Colombian. Hold yeah. on, hold on. And, and when you speak, just make sure to grab the mic so they can actually yeah, hear you when you say right. when you say yeah, stuff. You. Real quick, I want to because I was adjusting the the sound and everything. I'm just gonna get your name and your age real quick, real one more time. It was was it how Susanna. Do you Susanna. Yeah, S U S A N A. And you're 19, right? Yes. Okay. You. Isabella. Was it? Isabella. Okay. And I'm 21. And sorry, audience. I'm uh, I was doing some stuff in the back. Lorena. I'm 25. Uh -huh. Lorena, 25? Okay. You're from Mexico, right? No, I'm Peru. Peruvian. Peru, okay. okay. You can tell by the nose. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, what about you? Sarah, again? and I'm 23. <laughs> well, sorry, what's Sarah, Sarah, 23. Okay. Well, that's not even right. Okay, okay. Um, and then? Isabel, I'm um, 18. Okay. We checked her ID? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> what about you? Viviana, I'm 28. Okay. Guy. She's the one in a relationship, right? Yeah. From what I heard? Okay. And then um, you? Sophia, 20. Okay. And then you? Laura, Laura, uh, 25. Okay. And Millie, 25. You said what? Millie? Millie with Y. Okay. Millie Roth. Okay. And then 25? Okay. And then you? Paola, 23. Okay. And then you? Anna, 23. Okay. And then real quick, who has a bachelor's degree here? Okay, all right, so most of you guys have, well, about half of you guys. All right, and then, and then the re how many of you guys are in college if you don't have your bachelor? Okay, so everyone pretty much is either in school or has a bachelor's degree. Yeah. Okay, and then everyone here is from Colombia except you're Peruvian. Any, was someone here Mexican or no? No, American. half Colombian, half American. Okay, all right, cool. All right, my bad audience. I was just making sure I have <laughs> my numbers here. And then who's, who, and then raise a hand just real quick because again, uh, who's single and who's not? Who's, who's single? Okay, pretty much everybody. Okay, so three of you are, and then who's in a relationship? Just show of hands. Okay, so you three are in a relationship. Okay, and then how, how long? You, you you met your guy in Miami, right? That's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah, and then you. Nine months. Here. Nine months, and then. Five months. Five months. Okay, cool. All right, Casey, you had the next question. Sure. Yeah, let's get the next one. I have it right here. Um, okay, actually, I remember it. So, actually. I got it, because someone was saying that it's competitive here for the women. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a question for the girls. It's competitive for the women. Do you think it's better when it's more competitive for the women or more competitive for the men in the dating marketplace? Okay. So, yeah, we can start. Actually, we can start here, because we started with her last time, right? Oh, we started with her last time? Okay, my bad, my bad. My bad, I'm coming in this late. Competitive okay. as in... And then, and then Casey, we'll hit your question next, because I thought that was an interesting point, because you guys are all basically saying here it's more competitive for women, right? Yeah. Okay. Versus in the United States, I would argue it's the other way around. So do you think it's better when, the, when it's more competitive for women or more competitive for men? And we can start here, and then we'll work our way around. Competitive meaning like a woman choosing for men or what? Yeah. Basically, the women are competing for the men. Oh. What's better in your opinion? Do you think, what do you think makes a better dating landscape? When the men are competing for the women and there's not that many girls to go around or more women to go around and not that many men to go around? Um, no, I think it's better when men are competitive for a woman. You think, okay. I feel like since, I feel like if they choose you, it means you made a difference between all the girls. So it would be the other way around then? No, because he's the one that chose you. I didn't, like, if I'm competing for, like, with a bunch of friends. 
You contradicted yourself. All right. No, because like, okay, if the guy's picking you, right, out of all the other girls, that yeah. means there's a lot of girls, which means the men are the ones in demand. So like in Colombia, right? Yeah. The men are the ones that kind of are in demand here a bit because there's so yeah. many attractive girls. Yeah. So okay, what I'm yeah. saying, yeah. So it would be the other way around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think it's better when the when there's more women. Yes. And less men. Okay. Yes. Okay. What about you? Um. Well, I'm guessing the same. Like, uh, I think it's better when there's more women than men. Okay. And yeah, that's all I think. Like, I don't have that much of a deep thought of, of it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised. No, I'm just kidding. Uh. <laughs> okay. <so. laughs> All right. What I about think you? It would be best for the result, like as a relationship, when the guys, like, when the girls compete because you get like, you get the guy that is dying for you. But as a girl, I would say it's easier for me when the guys compete. So. Of course. Okay. I'm realistic. Okay. <laughs> Um, but remember, when I, the question is, I, I, and I see your perspective. It's what do you think is going to lead to better relationships, like 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 uh, better dating when the women are competing for the men, like kind of here in Colombia, or the other way around, where like in America, I would say it's the the men competing with for really a lot of the times the girls. I will say like the I, women have the leverage in America. I think I will say I prefer when men are competing for the women because uh, it's like okay. so not here, not like it is here. Not like it's here because here the market we are more women, you know. So and it's less uh, prospect, you know, like a good quality man, okay. you know. So it's hard to find. So it's better we compete and it's healthy also because we can choose a better, the best one. So she doesn't want it. Why she doesn't want it? Oh, she want it. Why she want it? You know. And then you can see your opinion and say, okay, it's better here. But in my opinion, I prefer men choosing women. Because that's an idea. Oh, so that's so that's it's what you agree with them then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys are. It's funny because they say what they get, then you, they make their argument, and it's. I think it's a magnifier. Yes, I think we're like. Maybe phrase it this way: yeah, so. you, Who is it better if they have the advantage when it's easier for men when men have an advantage because there are more women, or the other way around? So, like, you think it's better when men have an advantage because there's so many women, or the other way around? Okay, so yeah, I would think that there's an advantage when men have like the advantage to choose, like because speak there up, are a lot, a lot of women here, for example. Mm -hmm. So they're like te technically choosing, but we are the ones that choose them as well. Okay. So it's like both okay. side by side. Yeah. All right. What do you think? What's the point of the question? What's the point of the question? Yes, because our natural makeup talks about men coming for women because they chase us, we receive, we decide, and we give the last word. So what's the point of the question? Well, I'm going there, but just answer the question. <laughs> I did. You did you so it's when men look for the women and we give the last word because energetically that's how okay, we work. Okay, so you, work. Like it when, you think it's more conducive when the woman has leverage? Well, here, yeah, they see a lot of men because they're very pretty. So a lot of men like. Yeah, like I would say, like in Colombia, the men have the leverage. But then you go somewhere else, the women have the leverage. But like in Colombia, there's. Is that a, how you feel? Somewhere else, women well, have the leverage. Well, there's anytime you have an abundance of attractive women, right? What ends up happening is pretty right. women lose 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 that power because we're emotional. More of them. And you guys are logical, so what you guys are we're emotional, and you guys are logical. So when it comes to sex, you guys are gonna put it in whatever hole. We're gonna put it in what gives us protection and safety. That's not the question. That's not the, that's not the question, though. The so qu it, it doesn't make a difference, is my point, which I'm saying that the question doesn't make sense itself. Uh, I would What's argue the point it definitely, of the makes a dif it definitely makes a difference. I would argue it does. What's because, the difference? Well, here's the thing. The genders act very differently when they have leverage. When women have leverage, they tend to be terrible people. But you people. guys travel for it. For I'm going to be so honest. You just accommodate to it. So... What's the point of the question? What was that? You guys travel to different countries to have more options. I'm marrying an American guy. Yeah. I find him in Miami. It's random. At the end of the story, we decide. We have the last word. You guys chase. We see if you fit for us or not. And we say, yeah, I'm going to give you a chance. We're going to have a relationship. But there's no point of the question. You're, totally deflecting. you're totally deflecting. I'm, I'm just, not. I'm, you are. because you're, you're not answering the point of the question. And you don't I asked have, you the question. Right. But there's no point of the question because it's always the same result. Not necessarily. How is it not necessarily the same result? Well, when the men—it's our nature. We're human beings, and that's how we are programmed. Yeah, but our men and women are, are very that way. men and women are very different. Exactly. That's exactly what so I'm saying. So therefore, so therefore, we behave differently when we have leverage. Men and women don't behave the same when we have leverage over the opposite gender. 
Well, for example, right, because you can fuck any look, hole. We no, actually no, 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 no. Look, put look, mind see, and heart to this decision. The, see, remember that whole thing you said about being emotional and I'm being logical and men and women are different? That's what I Correct. mean. I'm, what I'm saying is that when women have leverage a lot of times, that means that they're better than their partner in some degree. And when women feel like they're better than their partner, things don't work out because women don't do well when they think that they're better than their partner. It has to be the other way around. It's not about being better. It's about harmony, right? The point, the pressure point that you're gonna, Earth or no? the pressure point that you're gonna. Hold on, fly, look, look, look. There is no harmony. Don't look, look, stop, 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 stop. There is no harmony if the man's not in a leadership role. Period. I agree, absolutely. So, so you you provide, we receive. Yeah, right? but the man has to be in the leveraged leadership role in the first place, yeah. and this is something that so, women so, tend to forget. Like you guys, like just look at the finish line, but you don't look at the entire race of how you got to that finish line. You understand? I understand? And I get that because women are in a privileged position where the men come to them. Right. And you don't have to understand the situation and how the man got there. But what I'm saying is that men and women experience different realities. And I would argue for men, men experience a much tougher, tougher reality than women do. Well, I think it, if, Which is if, why if you're we were answering talking, the question we the way you are right now. I'm about to. Are you going to Oh, you're finally going to answer it now? Okay. Okay. If do you remember what the question we're talking was? About the hold on, hold on. Before you... Do you remember what the question was? Yeah, yeah. What so was it? So we're talking about the what practicality of... What would it be better if you guys had more options or we had more options? Yes. It would be smarter if we had more options because we're going to have the last call and we're going to make a smarter decision because we don't act with our sexual desires. We act with our mind and our hearts. It's a coherence. So it would be better if we have more options because it would be more safe. I and disagree. You have more options and you get to fuck more <laughs> prostitutes, but it takes you a lot of fucking prostitutes to find the one. You have something fresh? Uh. You guys have so many options. You still make terrible choices even now. I'm like, bro, like, you guys choose, like, the <laughs> worst people, fact. the bad boys. The guys are doing the worst stuff. And it's like, you're 28. You just phone your guy, right? So uh, all this time, you chose the wrong people. Not true? I, I, I think that it's just lack of education. So I don't know if it's feminine, like, well, girls making bad decisions. But we tend to operate from our hearts. And it doesn't matter what you say. Okay, so no, when you operate, hold on, matter, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Who is going to make a better decision? Someone thinking with their feelings in their heart or someone thinking with their brain with logic and reason? Obviously, someone thinking with their heart. In every possible way. I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you why. A lot, of, a lot of girls, right, are trying to get a man, right, because he's a provider. For example, it's sad for me to, for example, walk on the 10th street, all the prostitutes and the men are, you know, you see a lot of Americans and you see the girls kind of just waiting there. It's just they're looking for a fucking better life, right? Okay. But when it comes to us, we, it's just, we're complex. If you think about the complexity of a human being, we're a little more complex than you. Um, there is a duality within us that has to do with how much you receive the good part of us, which is the submissive part of us. You're missing the, the argument. We're basically well, saying I'm, is that... If you don't let me finish... Because you're not... You're going in circles. You're not no, necessarily not. answering the question. You're not making sense with your... Because th in one thing, you're like, oh, yeah, men are more, log more logically sound and rational. I'm like, okay, well, who's going to make a better decision? And you said the person that goes with their heart. No. When you make emotional decisions based on your heart, that's how you feel at the time. But that might not be the best decision to make Who told you that you were working... Emotions and heart is completely different. You're disconnected, and it's really hard for me to like make you understand that about yourself because you don't even know yourself at that extent. So it's not my fault. It's like this I'm talking to a wall. This conversation actually is a perfect example of how men communicate overtly. I'm speaking logically and soundly, and you're like using your emotions and feelings. I literally and told like, you that it would be better if we have more options because it would be faster for us to make the right decision. And I, I think that it's fine because you take too long to find the one. We just kind of sense it faster. We're intuitive. It's different. You guys don't operate that way. You guys are logical. Whatever gives you, gives you the most money, whatever gives you the most things, you know, the most status, because obviously you have to be a bad boy because more girls are going to want me that way if I have the yacht, if I, if I have the things. But men have right? to earn that. Sorry? Men have to earn that. Yeah, of course you do. Men have to earn their value. So what percentage of men can actually achieve these things you just mentioned? So you think that, exactly, but you're going to have so many more girls that are probably not educated but and not very valuable. That. I understand that. So there's a barrier to entry. That's my point. For women, there is no barrier to entry. That's why if you look at all the feminist countries, right, yeah. where women are the most in the, um, 
how do I say this, empowered, feminism is at the strongest level, why are the women the least happy? They have the most career, they have the most education, they have the abundance of options, but why are they least happy and least married? It's because when you put women in authority positions where they're the ones picking the men, they typically fuck up and fail. This is why arranged marriages have been a thing for so long. Right. Because you have the father involved and your You're father comes in. You're missing my point. And t no, I'm... My <laughs> point is that even if you choose first, she's going to choose you last. So if you want her, she's going to say, oh, do you want to... I've been proposed to three times and I've said two, twice no to two people. I chose. It was my last call. They wanted me. I didn't want them. It's my call at the end, not yours. Were they nice guys? They were. Mm. It was just not the timing. Yeah, fantastic. Not surprised. This, this is what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, yo, you're, you're digging your own grave, but it's fine. Uh, I, I think the audience can see who's logically sound here and who's yeah, not. Yeah. But uh, you have a podcast? That's crazy. Anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to have you, and then my questions would be, you know, interesting for you, too. Because you guys aren't enlightened. You've got to take ayahuasca the jungle you, first you, so you can you, be enlightened you, on her level. It, you're, you're not living on planet Earth, no offense, but uh, go ahead. With, with, so, uh, well, yeah, the question was, yeah. uh, what do you think is conducive to a better dating marketplace when the men have the advantage or the leverage or more options or when the women do? Um, I feel that both genders act different um, when they have the leverage. Okay. And I feel like both genders could take advantage of having the leverage. Um, but if you had to give it to one, who's in a, uh, who do you think is better? I would better? give it to a woman. You think it's better when the women have it? Yeah. The American girl would say that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised. What about you? Okay, so it depends because, like, if we talk heat in Medellin, like, that question gets really extreme. Mm -hmm. So, like, the guys, ha the guys, sorry, have the leverage here, but, like, in extreme point, mm -hmm. what is co it's going to be, like, 100 girls and one guy or something like that. So it became crazy. In the United States, uh, I lived in LA, so it became the opposite. Yeah. So it is going to be like a hundred girls and just one guy. Mm -hmm. So I think like between balance. You mean a hundred guys and one hundred guys and one girl? You mean? Yeah. In LA, it was the other yes, way around. Yes, okay. All right. So. What's I better? Like when the, I like when the guy choose, like when the guys have the right to choose, but then at the end, I'm the one that choose the guy. Yeah. So like somebody can choose me, but I will say, okay, you have your options. Now I'm the one that is going. She's to not decide. agreeing with you. Yeah, well, you guys are missing the point. I'm not agreeing with you. I'm agreeing. <laughs> last. You choose last. Every single girl. No, no, keep going with what you're you saying. Keep going. Don't so worry I'm about saying, like, I will let the guys decide. I like, have their options. But then at the end, I will choose. Boom. <laughs> that's Jesus. not what you were trying to say, but that's. But if, the, but if the women have all the leverage in the dating market and all the women are fucking terrible because they have all the power and they become terrible people with that leverage, then I have to choose from a pool of fucking terrible people. That's it. Oh, I but still not, choose in the I'm end. Cool. So the, I chose, but I, I'm like using an extreme example, but that, that, I think that's what you guys are missing. You're like, oh, well, I still choose at the end. Yes, but the guys are forced to choose. For, the average weight of the American woman, I believe, is 171 pounds. Is that correct, Myron? Yes. Something about that? Yeah. And if so she's if black, 187. Choose, yeah. So the women of all the leverage, great. It's, it's the woman's last call. She gets to make the last decision. I got to marry a whale. I get no, to pick, you but know. But you're in Colombia maybe, and you're here maybe next Maybe I to didn't us. make, I didn't let, uh, understand myself. Because I like when the guy has more options. But then, like, for instance, like, between all the options that you guys have, yes. Yeah. And okay. then at the end, I decided, yeah, like, special, if I should. Yeah. Yes, exactly. All right. What about, uh, what about you? What was that? Oh, uh, okay. 32. Okay, we'll hit the super chats after this question then. I think Thank it's better you. when the man uh, has more options. And okay. I'm not going to elaborate on it. Okay. You did um, want to elaborate on it, you said? or She didn't want to? Okay. I think it's better when women have the leverage, is how you say it. Okay. All right. And the so you think it's better why, when there's more men? And, yes. And, and the reason why is because to a certain extent, men's reasons to be better are women. And if you have a market where you have like to like actually to compete or you know try to better yourself to get at women, it means most of you are gonna get, are gonna be great options. So as a woman, I think it's more smart if guys are competing because that means that you are working on yourself, you are working on being better or being a, a man of value, so you can have those women. So which means it makes sense, and because it's true at the end of the day. But can you make women happy though? Can you you're saying you're saying the men get better and better and better. That's cool. But if all the men are fantastic and magnificent, can women actually be satisfied? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, why not? Especially, especially 
if if let's say I'm young, right? But if there is so many uh, good guys in the mar in the in the market, and I chose to like say. I chose to date him. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have no reason to go after another guy because I know he's just as great as you are, or you, or, or, or he's he's a great option for me. The problem is when I start just going around and trying different guys and everything because, as she said, we women are very emotional. So by us now having this list of guys, oh my God, now it's like I'm gonna start Question comparing. Question for you: When you're emotional, does that mean you know you can be a little bit erratic because you're emotional? Emotions change often, right? I, I repeat that. The okay. When you're emotional. Yeah. It means it changes all the time, no, you right? you say a word that I didn't want to say. Erratic. erratic means like unstable. Unstable. Or erratic like it, means like unstable. It's changing. It's, it's always changing. Yeah. I think actually the definition of emotion is energy moving. Like emotion is energy moving. So it's, it's something that is not consistent. Yeah. But if you're emotional, that means you're feeling something different all the time because you're emotional. I, absolutely. Okay. So you're, you can feel different at different times. Absolutely. Okay, so if you have a bunch of options in men and you can feel different at different times, do you really think you're going to want to be with that guy when you can maybe get with something better? It's, yeah, it's not really how it works because as, 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 really? as, as emotional as we are as women, we also, when we have something... Like we stay today in the reason, like when we feel certain way, like if I'm with you and I feel protected and I feel loved, you can trust and believe I'm not going to change you. I would argue that women are only faithful typically based on the guy, like how much they like him, and that can change at any time. Exactly. So I have to like you a lot. Like, why would I go be with you if I don't like you in a market where everybody's good for me? But what, I, but what I'm trying to say is that women, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, there's a term, it's called hypergamy, and women typically want the best guy that they can get. If there's a bunch of good guys, you're always going to think you can do better. Women tend to think the grass is always greener on the other side. And if you guys don't believe me, why do most girls initiate breakups and divorces? So you're absolutely right, Myron, but it is different with true Latinas in Colombia. Yeah, that, like when they, when they really, really like a guy, Colombianas give their whole soul to that in guy. In Colombia, but I'm yeah. talking about in America. She's yeah, talking no, about when the women, th yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, but that's why, is, that's not, why is it when you take a Colombian yeah. chick and you bring her to no. Miami, you bring her to <laughs> yeah. the West, they change. Yeah. Because the, the marketplace shifts and the woman has leverage. And she's saying that, no, we're, we're going to be loyal. But what I'm saying is that women typically believe in the concept of the grass is green on the other side. So like... Yeah, but, but also you say it changes, but then to be honest with you, you can also, you, you have to, if you are with me, you need to make sure and you, you, you need to be sure about me, which means that you need my, my morals, my ethics. And of course, people, you know, you never end up knowing some, someone, uh, how can I say that? Say it in, say it in Spanish, <laughs> like fully, help you. Like fully, Someone's exactly. Full, like, but agenda. at least with, with values and morals, you can, you can determine what I'm capable of. And that can give you like, you know what? I believe she's this, 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 this in women. She has those values that allow her to think this way. So because her morality or things, I don't think and I don't believe that she's going to do that. So she's a trustworthy woman. So I was going to say something. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to agree with just one thing that you said, that it was the, that it depends on how much we like the guy so that we're loyal, you know? But also, I don't think that the, what did you say? Like the, gr the yard is greener on the other side? Grass like, is the grass grass is greener. <laughs> Do you know what that expression means? Do you know what that yeah. expression means? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so okay, cool. I don't think that, like, that's mm, correct because, like, us as women, when we love so much a guy and let's say that this guy changes throughout the relationship and becomes an awful person we like we're always trying to make him change like we know that's not going to happen because it's his call if he decides to change not one but we like as so wait hold on if you process, met him one way and know? he was that way and he doesn't change whose fault is that yeah i know like i'm not saying but that then you said that they change and become a terrible person no, yeah, but that I'm was the same guy the whole their time fault. i'm not saying it's their fault i'm just saying that it's not like we think that the grass is greener on the other side is because if it if we if that was our like mindset. like you know, our mindset thank you if that was our mindset we would like just change and not waiting around for a guy to change you know okay if that's the case then why do women initiate most of the breakups because, because guys, you guys just cheat. can't be <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's di like, because, there's like, different you're saying one thing. You're saying, the gr like, I'm, here's my statement. My statement is women typically believe the grass is greener on the other side and they think they can do better. And my proof of that is because they initiate most of the breakups. Women typically don't break up with a guy unless they have something else lined up that they think is better. 
Okay. But how is no, it? actually, how actually, how? well, I'm gonna put myself as an example. Okay. I had an ex boyfriend, and he was like. You do realize the world doesn't just revolve around you, right? Just because you might have not done that doesn't mean other women and a majority of them no, don't do that. Yeah, I know. That's, that's why I initiated the sentence with from my experience. We're you speaking know? in general, though. Well, I'm gonna talk from my experience. Like, can I do that or? No, you can, but just understand okay, that your experience is limited to your experience. experience. Your, your experience okay, so is I'm limited. It might not be a representation of the, how the world really works. Okay. So can I speak from my experience? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to. Yeah. Very so. narcissistic. I'm very <laughs> not surprised. Another trait of okay, a lot of females okay, is to be okay, narcissistic yeah, yeah. So and solipsistic. Can I speak from my experience? See, there you go. Thank There's you the very much. <laughs> this is a one-on-one on female yeah, nature, guys. So it's not, it's not like... I, as me, as my personal experience, I waited around for a guy to change, and that never happened. And I left him, not because I found someone better, but because I knew that that was not what I deserved. Did you think that you could do better then? Of course I can That's do better. That's what I just said. Yes, but like, Yo, it's not like it's greener man? on the other side, and it's like, oh, I have different options, and I'm going to go, and I break it Because you had a good reason. If he had not behaved in a way that wasn't acceptable, she you wouldn't have looked said, for something because else. Because I deserve no. better, which is the definition of no. the grass is greener on the other side. I can do better. I think she's trying to say because he didn't get his shit together. He wasn't ambitious enough or something like that, and so, that's why so, you left so, him. No. So well, I, what, I get, the other talk, what, no, what was it? I get what she's saying. Go, though, go for it. Go for she's it. saying, for example, at the beginning stages, she said, you know what? I'm going to work on this guy. Hopefully he changes, and uh -huh. I'll stay. But I didn't work out. She said, you know what? Since he didn't work out, I'm going to leave to find better. Yeah. So he is right, but you're also right as well. But yes. he's saying not, not naturally, we want to find better generally. And I would just throw on top of that. No, she's I, wrong, bro. Like, she literally just countered. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, no, man. Like, she's 100% wrong. She said, oh, no, I'm not like that. And then proceeds to tell a story that shows that she's like that. No, but like that how? Saying greener? No. Yo. You said, no, well, wait. No, you said. She described the middle no, part. No, wait, wait. You but, said, but you said the end part. You said that that we break up with guys when we find someone better. Or and think I you broke could do up better. with him, and I... I, like, I didn't find a guy, like, a better guy, you know? What she's trying to say is she wouldn't go looking for it. Exactly. If he was behaving the way she wanted to behave. Exactly. When what he's saying is that women will, even if the guy's doing all the things he's quote-unquote supposed to do, that women will still try to replace him and climb the ladder of higher status guy to higher status guy, even okay. if he doesn't quote-unquote fuck up with his behaviors. We got so, oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay. I mean. Can't fight for who gets the mic so, next. So somebody else, yeah. uh, pa, uh, somebody else has something? She, 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 had her, she had her hand up for a while. Oh, Let's yeah, and then she's no, got to go. And then she's got to go. Um, okay. she, she's had her hand up for a while. Because we're on this topic, and then, and then we'll go and get your take on the, the, the dating thing. Too. Okay, go ahead. And then we'll go, we'll go work our way. Okay, so I think that men, they show themselves some way at the beginning. And then they change their behavior. They, like, show their true selves. They start acting different, maybe not doing some things that they did at the beginning. Then I think that women have the patience to wait to see if they're going to change back to what they were or at least get better in something. But we do have like that patience. We do wait until they change, but there's like a limit for everything. It gets to a point that we're like, we cannot wait anymore for this guy to change if he's not going to do anything. But this only works if you really like the guy. Like yes. If he's the average guy that you don't really no, like that much, no. If he's the average guy, we will throw easily. him out. <laughs> but if you like him a lot, like you like, actually love him, you will wait yeah. to see if he changes. That's true. That's okay. True. Well, what else? Somebody else had had something over here. Me. Oh, and then and then and I know, but on this topic though. Oh, on this yeah, on this topic on the uh, grass grass is green on the yeah. other side. Oh. Somebody I else has. Go ahead. You have something. Go ahead. Well, um, and then we'll get your, Don't worry. We'll get. I your was take. just gonna elaborate on something that you said. Um, why do women touch on divorce or breakups first? Why do they you, initiate most of the breakups? Yeah. yeah. My um, statement was, women always think the grass is green on the other side. And then my proof to back that up was they initiate an yeah. overwhelming amount of the breakups. I feel like guys have, I'm like, she kind of said that about, um, guys have less patience when it comes to bettering a relationship. Um, so let's say if I'm with my boyfriend and I feel like he's falling out of love, I'm going to have that patience to regain all of that bond, you know? But I feel like guys... They just kind of feel off, and they just throw it all away, you know? So that's why I would say that women... Is it really he's throwing it all away, or you're just not attracted to him anymore, and you say that in your mind to feel better about breaking up with him? Well, <laughs> not really. Yo, translate no. Dominese, man. 
Um, because girls say that all the time, like, oh, no, like, you know, um, I don't know. Uh, like, they'll say things to try to make themselves feel better for breaking up with a guy. But genuinely, I think men love women way harder than women love back. there's no need to sugarcoat anything either way. That's, that's why, I mean, I'm always straight up. You just sugarcoated just now. I didn't. <laughs> um, okay. I have to agree. I read a study. Agree on what? On what you're saying. Today's that women initiate breakups? That yeah, and it said that we lose interest like a rocket. It shoots down. We care, we care, we care, then we don't. They lose interest gradually. So I would agree with that. And my point here is that you don't find your partner. You choose it. Okay. Uh, you had something, and then I'm going to go to her. Yeah, I think... Oh, uh, this grass is greener. It, uh, we women, we go growing in the part that we date in the, in, with men's in the potential of them being better. But also, you guys... Promise of things that you cannot complete. For example, the thing is, the thing is like, it's true because the thing is that. Sell a dream. <laughs> exactly. So, because it's not, it's not that, it's not that we, because we take you basing in the conditions you are now, right? And what you say to us. But now you go there and you feel like you want to try other women and stuff like that. So there is a lack of honesty from you guys. Can from women the handle beginning. the truth? It depends how you say it. I think a lot of women will be able to 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 war with the truth if because I don't even want to talk about me, but like <laughs> a lot of women can handle the truth. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. But if you know, because if you have me here looking stupid in front of everybody and my friends and the society where we both are part of, then that's where it gets. I am sorry, but right, that's where the truth. I get fucked I'm gonna up. go out. Here's the truth. I'm gonna go out and have sex with other girls. I want you to stay loyal to me. Make sure you don't have sexy pictures of yourself on Instagram. I don't want you going to the club. I don't want you dressing sexy without me there. I don't want you acting like a whore, behaving like a whore, having guy friends. You can't go to parties without me, and I want you to be loyal only to me. Okay, I can't. Bam. That's why guys lie to women. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, all of you looked but at me crazy. You, you, you're saying so a lot. does that mean that that's you're how it works every time? Not every, on, and not every on, guy wants. No, no, no. What I just that's said. That's your personal hold preference. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. This is, this is a difference. What I just said is what, like, 95% of men want in their girl, but they don't say it because all of the women will respond That's, the way all of you just did. I, listen, women can't handle the truth. Men, true, but also I see no, not A discussion every woman. over. No, no, no. <laughs> I see men that they like their women to be sexy because they want other men to feel like, yeah, I'm with a body, you know. They want their women to, to, to have, like, body, uh, summer, summer dresses. They want their women to be showing titties and all that. So men can look at, oh, yeah, bro, you got a body, yes. yes yeah. Because when they want to feel their ego. I just said when they're there. No, but I want to yeah. say they're something. My, uh, I won't say names, but a, a friend has an agreement with her boyfriend. Yes. And for instance, like, he was a straight up and he yeah. said like you know i'm a guy i would like to be sexually with other girls yeah. so let's make an agreement i'm going to be once per year with another girl agreements can happen okay but most women and most guys and are not going to be that honest and most women won't tolerate that which is but why most men have to lie so I'll, I'll go to her real quick so uh what are your thoughts is it better when the women have the leverage or the man <laughs> Well, I don't agree with that. Uh, I don't like to compete for anyone, and I don't like anyone to uh, compete for me. Like, I think that making an effort doesn't mean like every time that you're going to get the result that you want. So, for example, a guy can be super special with you. Like, he can try his best to conquer a woman, but at the end... Okay, like, why, are, why are we put on Earth, human beings? Why do you think we're on Earth? Well, we're here to have babies. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're here to have babies. So are there more men or women in the world? I think that there are more women. So by default, if we're put on earth to have children and there's less men than women, that means you must compete. Yeah, it's a fact, but I don't like it. Oh, and well. I think that... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, well. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, I don't like that one plus one is two, but that's what it is. Like, we all have to compete, you know? And I think this... Because this, you're not the first woman that said that. Women say that all the time. I don't, I don't compete with nobody. I, there is no competition. Only women can say something so dumb. Like, for men... We have to compete. We have to go out there, make money, go to the gym. We have to become the best version of ourselves to yeah. even get a date. Women, though, you guys don't compete. Women live life on easy mode. A girl that's 18 years old can attract a multimillionaire that worked his life to become a multimillionaire. Yeah, and I agree with you. I'm sorry? Oh, that's... Well, hold on. Oh, what, but what is an ugly woman, though? What no. is an ugly woman? That's, that's there is different taste. No matter different what you look like as a woman, that's, that's there's a high-value guy that'll yeah. fuck you and date you. That's, that's my point is that no she doesn't have to what. do anything to get that guy. 
she be just be pretty yeah. cool and i would argue even average looking girls have a have more yeah. options than yeah. very attractive if men. you're classically beautiful like undisputably beautiful maybe 97 percent of guys want to fuck you and nope. if you're classically ugly fat overweight older maybe only three or four percent of the whole male population wants to fuck you maybe 10 percent but within that four to ten percent there's some fucking winners in that group so like people say that like we all have different we all disagree like about what makes a hot girl i only like latinas I do not like monas, like blonde, blue eyes, light skin. I don't fucking like that. I know guys who go crazy, who get on their knees and beg for that shit. So there is, I mean, there is some universally unattractive women, but even 2% of all the male population is a lot of fucking guys. We'll keep it simple. An average woman has more pull than a very attractive man. Yeah, that's correct. That's, that's. Yeah. yeah. And for instance, and I. Hold on. Okay, fine. Okay, but at least she gets the chance to attract the man. Not attract. They just wanna. Men wanna like put their thing in any hole. So See, that's where you're messing up. No, 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 no. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's where you're messing up. Because if you're able to get the guy's attention, then it's your job as the girl to prove that you're worthy of a relationship. You know they won't the, stay. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, you're a man. No, no, no. If the girl provides value, she's not you know useless. You they won't stay. No, 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 no. See, that's a see. Yeah, oh, that's, that's that's scary that you're that, saying yeah. that. Okay. The, yeah. Let Completely me, let me, clueless. Let me, let me show you guys can something, I, all right? You finish, and then I got something to it, say. It's the man's job to attain the girl. It's the girl's job to retain the man. It's your job to keep him. It's my job to get you. So if you can't keep the man, whose fault is that? It's the I agree, fault. but I, I, I'm sure you're not going to... As, as, as more the women you are, you're not going to retain if you are... 300 pounds and whatever or whatever, you know? I, she wouldn't have attracted me You're in the first place. You're still gonna get fucked, but that doesn't mean you can't retain the man. Because as a man, maybe you could just... That's I, true. I Some girls are doomed to not retain the guy because he was drunk and lonely. He was just... Yeah, exactly. but then, but then, but then but, you wake up... Who fucks, the, who fucks yeah. the guy, though? It doesn't matter because as women, we're not looking We're not looking who to fuck. We're looking about who wake... We, Black, sorry, who can, who we can share a life with? Women are not like sexual animals that are just walking around in general. I get that. You guys are. So if the, you fuck the guy, you value. gotta take the accountability. But it doesn't have it. any value. Huh? It doesn't have any value. Wait, 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 so, she's contradicting herself, man. So, so, no, so, I'm not. So, so let me get it straight. No. So, you're the lawyer? No. No, no, her. Sorry, sorry. You're the lawyer? Yeah, she's lawyer. So let me, oh, let me. Let me develop my idea. Let me develop my idea. Because I totally agree. Like, I mean, a guy, uh, does a lot of effort. You she, she's in training, right? Sometimes. Are you sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, let me get it straight. So you're uh -huh. telling me that, like, if a guy finds a girl and he gets to, to like, fuck her, right? Mm -hmm. Whose fault is that? Both. No, no, but who let him inside? Hair. So whose fault is that? Both. No, it's your fault. <laughs> That's all it is, bro. It's simple. <laughs> no accountability. It's, I mean, yeah, two, yeah, two, two I things I wanted to say. You, I receive you, but you, you got to take accountability too. We both fucking. Wait, 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 wait. If you don't open your legs, what is that? Women are the gatekeepers. Okay, exactly. Okay. Thank you. Let me. Let me I, I had two points. One for the for the lawyer. You just said no. Uh, I shouldn't have to compete. That was your your we statement, right? Well, that's, that's what you said. You said I mean, if I men and women, you, neither should have to compete. Um, you like me and I feel like there is a vibe. Like, let's work. Like, but you shouldn't have to compete try. with other women at all. What? Or that you shouldn't have to compete with other women for a guy. You shouldn't have to try harder in the gym or do or something, guy, I, provide more value than other women. I don't do that. You don't do that. I mean, I'm like... You think, you think, we're going to kill all the other streams except for YouTube. Yeah, we're going to kill all the other streams except for YouTube. Okay, okay. Get on YouTube. I know. Like, I'm minding my own business. I'm doing, like, I'm working. I'm studying. So do you so have your ideal yeah. man right now? No. Do you think maybe if you were to dedicate a lot of time and effort and planning into being the best possible woman and competing, out competing the other women to get a really high value guy, maybe you would have that guy? Maybe because I'm conscious that I'm not that girlfriend material right now because I, I know I know I so you're know. doing us a favor I need to improve <laughs> a lot of things oh I need to improve a lot of things and I okay. admit it yeah so when eventually you want a guy it's like if you want the best job you have to study if you want yeah. the best body you have to go to the gym if mm -hmm. you want the best guy you have to compete I remember mm -hmm. I walked out of my bedroom uh Someday, and I, my friend was watching this like nature documentary. I just heard it. it's always like in a British accent. It was like the males must compete and fight for the love and the attention of the females. Yeah. It never goes the other way around. What 
animal, any animal practically, especially a mammal, where the women are fighting to the death to compete for the men. No, it's always the men competing. And it needs to be that way, otherwise the, the species would be fucking retarded and go extinct. <coughs> There's a reason why only the strongest, most badass lions mate and fuck all the, the lionesses, because if they didn't, you have some weak ass lions, they wouldn't be able to catch a zebra, and they would die out. So you need, like, human beings would literally be extinct if we didn't compete. It's called natural selection. Okay. Yeah, and I understand, but uh, what I was going to say is that, I mean, for example, like, I see that there is a guy who's trying to get to know me more, who is, like, doing a lot of effort in order to get to know me better. Competing. Well, he's competing. Well, uh, well if I don't like him, I'm going to tell him, like, hey, like, right now I'm not looking for a relationship or, I don't know, right now I don't want to... No, I get that. Yeah. yeah. That's a so separate I thing, but that, I was just saying... I think that that is important because sometimes, uh, I don't know, like, the people might let uh, the guys or the women, whatever the case is, to spend a lot of money, to do a lot of efforts, but at the end... Well, well, that's different. I'm not saying, so you know, messy. I'm not saying go to the club and spending a whole bunch of money is the best strategy to compete. I'm just saying in general, we as humans must compete. All right. in I'm just going to say this. Ladies might not like this, but I'm just going to say it. The reason why women need to compete for men is because women are lazy. Okay. I'm going to just say it. Women are fucking lazy. Yeah. Women are lazy. How do you say that in Spanish? Lazy. Lazy. Lojas. And I'm going to explain why. Lazy yeah. Women in general are lazy. <laughs> if you look at the world that we live in, right, everything is built by men, etc. So what I've realized is, since women are naturally lazy, the only thing they really care about is their man and their children. Do okay? you birth babies? Do you get periods? I was going to just say that. I Emotion was going to get into that. Your, our hormones are a freaking roller okay. coaster. That's fine. Your you have excuses for why you're lazy, but it doesn't change the fact that women like are lazy. This. What do you want from us? Okay. Who gave birth to you? That doesn't change the fact that my Who mom's lazier than my mom, my dad. My mom's lazier than my dad. <laughs> That's a fact. You're like, here because your mom gave birth to you. Yeah, she's fantastic. But at the end of the day, my dad is the hard worker. He's the reason why we are where we are. So let me go back to what I was saying. So, so again, I, notice how way. I say <laughs> women are lazier than men. And she says, well, it's because we have periods, etc." It doesn't refute the fact that they're still lazier. Yeah. Like, so let me explain what I mean by this. Okay. And I'm going to bring this all together, okay? Women are lazier than men. And if you don't believe me, look at the world that we have. Men work harder than women in general. The only time women typically work hard is if... It's for their man or for their children or their family. That's when women work really hard. A woman would rather be with a family, her man, her child, and take care of them than go ahead and work a corporate job. That's why so many Same women chase spectrum, a career. Let me finish my setting. point. Let me finish my point. That's why so many women chase a career and then they'll say, damn, I wish I had a family instead. I wish I had a man instead. So this is why I say women need to compete. Since women typically don't compete in the working world and creating resources and making money to the same extent as men, and we know this because men make more money than women on average because women work less hours, take more vacation time, etc. right? We know women are lazy when it comes to creating resources. You need to get them active about something. How do you get women active? Family and children. Okay, well, when do we know women are going to compete and actually go hard? When it's for a man that they love, admire, and respect, and for a family. So what I'm saying is that when women are competing for men, they get, you get the best behavior out of them. How do you get women to compete? Well, guess what? You have to have men, and then a lot of uh, attractive women, and then the women compete, and then what ends up happening is the best guys pick the best girls. Because if there's a bunch of attractive women, what does a guy do? Okay, I don't need beauty anymore. Which girl's gonna provide me the most value? The girl that provides the most value gets wifed up, gets the last name. And that's how you get the best out of women. Women only compete typically for the best men. That's yeah. what I realized. But I want to say something respectfully. Sure. I have been watching some of the shows, and I think like your country, con Content. Content. Contradictory. Oh, Contradictory? Content. Okay. Contradictory Go ahead. in yourself in, a, in oh. this part. Because, like, for instance, like, you guys talk in one of the shows, like, okay, like, in America, the girls want to go to work and they say, like, they don't need a man and they want to do everything by themselves. So, like, right now you're saying, like, we're lazy because we don't do that. But then it is, everything is about balance because I'm, I'm an independent woman mm -hmm. and I love a guy who has the balls to say, like, I'm a man and I am also a provider because I like to feel like, okay, I work, but I also want to feel like I can do something for my man. Okay. So at the same time, it is not being lazy. It is like, okay, I got to do this, but then I also want to do this, and I also want to be at home helping him and, like, uh, organizing my time to do, like, what I got to do. That so proves my point. 
Because mm -hmm. you want to work to be independent, but the reality is you want a man to provide for you. So because if the guy doesn't have like that strong masculine energy, I my, get that. my energy I'm really feminine, but I have a strong masculine energry. Okay. Because like I and since I'm 19, like I I have been like working for myself. I love to make businesses. I love to do those things, but I also like a guy that is like even higher. Because I feel like, okay. Well, let me ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. You said you're a masculine woman. Do you think a man that's very masculine is going to want a masculine woman in return? Exactly. He's not. They don't. They don't. <laughs> but that's where I go. So, but that's where I go. I like a guy that is really masculine because like, my masculine he might not energy want you back. goes down. But he might not want you back. Mm, it depends. It depends. Okay, how about this? We let's also say, talked say, on the phone. She likes the masculine guy. guys that brings out her feminine side. Yeah, she but she will submit. Exactly. I get that. Because I get that. Like but that, that's okay, a very okay. that's a very foolish concept when women say that. Because let's say I walked around with a on a, with a dress on Saturdays. Yeah. Right. And I was feminine on Saturdays. Do I deserve a feminine woman when I cross dress on Saturdays? You guys, would you give me a chance? If I wore a dress, so why should I give you a chance when you act like a guy sometimes? Because I don't like a guy. Do you see me like a guy? I like to go to work out. I like to do businesses, and I like to stand by myself. You're missing my point, but with though. my guy, I'm really feminine. Okay. So, so what if my girl? I'm really masculine. I just wear dresses like on Saturdays. Him. Oh. Yeah, see, yeah, see yeah. how your logic. You see no, what I'm saying? Like, it, I'm you pick and choose when you want to be a lady. It doesn't make sense. But it is not like that. I'm sorry, Can you be a yeah. different? Because like, like. She is talking about like the energy, like exactly. from inside. Know the way she looks. You're talking about the way you look as a girl. Of course, we're not gonna pick you if you look like a girl. But maybe if you look like a guy, and when you're sad, you cry. It will be like, oh, he has a heart, you know. But then I wanna add something else to that. Like for instance, like one of my exes, like he's an amazing guy, but uh -huh. then he has a really strong. Feminine not that amazing because you're not with him anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I'm not going to say bad things about him because he was a great guy. Did you break up my with him? My point? Yes, I did. Proves my point even, bro. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it gets better. Let's make this shit up. You can't make this Yo, up, bro. But then we, I'm going to. Those are the mouths That's of why Columbia. it was quiet Same when you stuff, were bro. saying like girls break up with the wow. guys a lot. I didn't have nothing to say by then. But then <laughs> that's my point. That's my point. So who's contradictory, us or you? Both. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Bro. No, listen to this. Why look, did I do that? Because you, he has like he, a well, feminine er energy, look, look. so he didn't bring up my my feminine energy, and I just can't. No, but you you, you have that. your masculine energy. You balanced it, something? right? I have, I have balance. Yeah, like you have your mean, masculine energy. You balanced off his feminine energy. Why don't you stay with him? Harmony, right? Can I say something? Harmony. I don't think so. That's not you, that's you not what that? I wanted. So earlier, right, we said before on the show. Girls want bigger and better for the most part, right? They find a guy, they like him, but then they say, you know what? He's not really what we want. I want him better than him. So you found a guy, you chose him, right? You said you, said you choose him. But and I then, haven't chosen nobody no, no, yet. And, and okay. then over time, you said, okay, he's not masculine enough for me. I'm going to move on. That's what you were saying earlier. Girls move on to find bigger and better. I that's, think, that's the whole point. I think we are missing I think, concepts. I think that too. Because no, you guys are missing the concept. No, 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 no. In, in general, <laughs> because what I'm saying, being a boss lady has nothing to do with being masculine and feminine. Oh. No, I think it does. And let me say oh, that wow. again. Be, no, 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 no. Because fem you either are feminine or you're not. No, there's mm. nothing in the middle. No, I and think it is a balance. No, because I, well, that's my personal opinion. You want to be the boss of the house and the kitchen? Exactly. Because boss up in that kitchen. If I want a masculine man, I must be feminine. And I cannot just be feminine when I got to decide I want to be feminine. Because for me, for example, I, I run a business. You know, I have to work in an industry where there is a lot of men. Yes. And sometimes I know I'm in Colombia. It's a machista culture. I don't know how to say machista. So some guys. Uh, same thing. Sexist. Sexist. Okay. So some guys, they don't want to deal with me. They, they, they be like, oh, you know, and they, sometimes they even sabotage and they don't want to do the work on time. You know what I do? I can fight the system because they're already that way. I joined it. I call one of my friends, Andres, can you please call him and, and tell him to get this off? Andres, call. Now the work is done. I don't even have to fight with anything. I don't get to decide when I'm feminine and when I'm not. You really, you are or you're not. Sorry, why do you have it, Andres call that guy? No, because he I wouldn't respect you if you call him. I, I, don't, I don't understand that part. Why do you? Yeah, that's what you're saying? Okay. Yeah. So you said I have to call Andres um, to tell someone to do Just to keep the conversation something. focused here, all I simply said is that women in general are fairly lazy. And then you said, well, women in, are independent and make their own and work. That's fine, but what kind of jobs do women go into? They go let, into me, let me ask you a question. Well, hold on, hold on. I didn't finish. Okay. I got to say what, uh, uh, respond to what you said. Okay. 
Because you say women are independent and go to work, et cetera. But what <laughs> job sectors do women work in? They work in like, you know, office jobs. Okay. They don't do hard work. They don't do okay. hard manual I'm, labor. As a civil women engineer, work less you're... hours. They take but more then... vacation time. Like women are lazier than okay. men. That's a fact. Okay. But then what do you want? Do you want a woman that goes and work on the rooftop? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. But what I'm saying is that <laughs> since women, I'm not saying that. I'm saying since women are lazy, okay. naturally they're lazy when it comes to creating resources. Listen, ladies, when it comes to creating resources, making money, building, they're lazy in that regard. The only time they're not lazy is with family creation. Mm. But what leads to a family? A man and children, right? But what type of man needs to get that? How are you going to get the best out of a woman? She has to respect and admire you, so you have to be the best guy. But so. when women think that they're better than their guy, it doesn't work. I don't work. like it. I agree. That's my point. That's I what agree. I'm trying to say. I agree so women need to. You have to get women to work. That's what I'm trying to say. Women need to compete for men so you get the best behavior out of the women. When women think that they have the options and they have the leverage, they become terrible people. That's my argument. I'm saying then, that the man needs to be in the I will say that the world that the word that you use there is not lazy. It is yeah, not it's the right word. Not really like, you guys are like more a, concerned with the word. So what word? <laughs> what do you think, girls? I think. Mm. I mean, my like, feelings. I, like when Lazy. I when Lazy. I was a yeah. student, when I was a student university, like there are not so many girls in engineering school, you know, and there are like yeah. three, four in a room, or like forty-five guys. Yeah. And like you see, like the girls were having like the best grades, and you know why? Because like they're okay. You might be right, but the girls are not really competitive sometimes. But when it's just three girls, you gotta show that you are really good, that you are really smart, way more than guys. That's a minority, though. And, well, yeah, you're right. Most women don't want to be engineers. Well, but we are. There are some girls that want to be engineers. Minority. I have a lot of friends 90% that are engineers. 90% of engineers and, are men. And also, when I work, okay, there was a building, 100 guys and two girls. And honestly, the others in engineer barely work. Like, almost never work. Like, my boss was asking me to go to three buildings in the same week because the guys were not working. They would just sign in and, yeah, 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 call the other guy. Call the, the Okay, so you work harder than a few guys, but that's you. But in general, men still overwhelm these positions. That doesn't change what well, I said. Yeah, it does, but what I'm trying to say is You can't make an argument girls, no, girls, for an exception to the rule. What I was trying to say is that girls can be competitive, not, can just, be. For, not just for guys and, and kids. They can be when they wanted to show that they're really good. That you guys have to realize, too, that's, that's a that. minority of women. But listen, in order to get love, sex, attention, long-term relationship, as a man, that's very directly tied to your ambition and how much money you make. For a woman, that don't matter at fucking all. I do. It matters for me. No, no, no. From a man's perspective, a men man, don't care about how yeah. much money you make. Yeah, men choose I know you based on you. That's what he said. Yeah, I know. Beautiful, but you care a lot about how much money money a man makes. Yeah, I do. That's exactly what I said. That's what he said. My point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did you you had something? Yeah. Go ahead. So I don't really agree when you say that we're natural lazy. I would okay. say that that was a position that society put us in. Like. We, okay. we aren't born like just to stay in the house and clean and do chores. That's just like the best option because there are not as much opportunities for you guys. So we study, we work, all of us, we study, we work. What do you all major in? What do you major in? Vet. You? Vet. Engineer. Realtor. Realtor. Business. Communication, logistics, business, international business. Uh, you already know. Lawyer. In the law. <laughs> oh, not one laborious job here, except for the, the one engineer here. What do you mean laborious? I mean, like working with your hands, you like lifting. That, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Do, do, did y'all see what? Hold on, hold on. Let me. I just got you. She said, because she said, oh, it's because society sets us up this way, so we we're just this way. But hold on, yeah. all of you picked your majors, right? Uh, yeah. All of you picked what you went to school for, right? No. You pick, yeah. But no, but but women, women still I, pick what they go to you're school right for. You're right, and I hate it. And pi me, women pick what yeah. they go into career fields for. And when they pick the career fields, it's never anything that's in science, technology, engineering, and math. It's typically something like marketing, something with air condition, an office, etc. Yeah, I, come on, you're saying no, like... No, because she's making the argument. You're saying women are, are, are li naturally lazy. And I'm like, yeah, they are. And she's like, well, society put on us. And I'm like, okay, does society tell you to go major in a bunch of jobs? But you're using a, a, a new respond. argument, so many like years, so you know, uh, developed right now in what century we are, like 21. So if you say, come on, right now you choose, yes, of course, what you want. We're staying home and do what men want. No, there's buildings that still need to be built. Women aren't doing it. No. Bridges, bridges no. need to be built, no, but, but women don't do it. Use them girls on the internet for a living. Do it? 
No, no, I'm not saying that. that. I'm just saying that women make choices. Yes, we do. Right? Yeah. But you can't sit there and get mad and say, oh, well, society put this on us. No, women choose these but things. Women not, go to college more than men. But what and now that you have all the options to go to find a different career, but you still choose the same things. We're just saying, look, over a period of time, if that was the same thing that you're saying, you would choose better jobs. And women pick the bullshit majors, how's that the being nice lazy? jobs, because they're lazy. How's that being lazy? You know? It's because, no, how are we going to be a. Taking, come on, say, Look, so I you want excuses. Like, no. That's all I hear. No, but, but like, basically, we're not as strong as you guys are, so it makes sense. Okay, that's why you're lazy because you're weak. Uh, no, but all right, you were gonna say something. It's not like that. It's not the <laughs> girls. <laughs> like yo, it's the facts. Yes, like, it's, we, no, you guys are nothing with that. Like either. lazy jobs. It's okay. This might sound weird, but this is about evolution, you know. Ability. Okay, girls like over the years is like they they're better with talking and having different thoughts at the same way. So girls are almost better with we're not communication with careers. Look, 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 look. We're so just we're that's just saying. That's the reason why look, they look, don't look, pick look, engineering. Look. I get it. I know what you're saying. You're like, oh, it's evolution. This is why women do this. That's cool. I get it. But that does not change my, my but stance I wanna know that women are lazy you know by why evolution. No, why? The, I want to say, say lazy. I want to say something else. I want to say something else. I don't like the term lazy, but yeah. I'm going to tell okay. you why. Let finish because she was trying to say and then, and then her. And what then about we'll being a lawyer is lazy? Yeah. Huh? What about being a lawyer is lazy? That's or cool. being a business woman what is la what is but lazy what about are, that? What are all the top <laughs> lawyers and businessmen? Uh, businessmen. What do you do for They're your men. life? They're not women. I know women. Yeah. They're men. I do business with Americans here. Yeah, that's cool. But you do, do you build labor? buildings yeah. as well? Like oh, you just men. Here's the thing. Yeah. All the career fields, <laughs> yeah. men are exactly. better than women at everything. Like that's what I'm trying to say. Like they're better than women. even though women go into these job fields, the men still outperform them. But Why? Look, but in evolution, is, who just, decided that yeah. we had to I'll say, tell you why. I'll why tell you why. Said why. Why do the men outperform? Um, because if a woman wants to go um, out and meet an amazing guy and have love, romance, experience, sex, yeah. she doesn't have to work that hard. Her ability to get that mate is not directly tied to her income. For a man, it is. Therefore, men work harder women don't have to, to achieve be that successful. status and that income but we don't. to get the best possible You're not successful for you. You are not well, successful well, hold on, hold on. for Who's you. Who's going to work harder? Someone that wants to be successful or someone that needs to be successful? Yeah. Why? Hold on, hold on, women, no, 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 no. hot girls Everybody, don't hold on, hold on, fuck broke men. Everybody, be quiet for two I want, seconds. Think. I know you're female. Stop, stop. In my field, I hold want on. to be successful. Hold on, hold on. In engineering, I want to be. Let him talk, yo, ladies, ladies. You know? Silence, hold on, hold on. silence. I need you guys to really think about this. Yo, let him talk. Let him talk. Stop, stop, girls, girls, let him talk. Stop. Get out of your feelings for two seconds. Ask yourself a real question here, okay? Take your emotions out of this. Okay. Who's going to work harder for something? Someone that needs to be successful or someone that simply wants to be successful? Someone that needs. Thank you. Men that is need why to men be successful or you successful. don't get fucked. They need to do it. For women, they don't have Hot to. Hot women do not fuck why? broke men. Why are you saying well, that we don't have to work? Like we, we don't need to work. We need to work. Like, are you just saying that we're like strictly going to find a guy that is going to provide us forever? A that's lot of girls, that's what you all want. That's can. what you all want. But it's, a lot of girls not a guy women get more that. Than you can protect and protect There's and provide for you. There's a lot of guys here in Colombia. They are still thinking that women need to pay half half everything that's fine but and the point is what? at least you have yes, the privilege you mean on a date you mean on a date everything on the house no date with a pretty girl in medellin has ever ended with them paying 50 50 are you out that, of your that's mind that's because you're american that's why they love you're you you're american that's why they love no, you look no look, look, that, is, that guy's on, not getting no sure casey, 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 dates casey. have ended like that and that was the last date casey casey check this out this is how you know privilege is invisible to those that have it she's complaining about going half and half men Typically, half and half is the I'm not complaining yeah. about the, going half and half. I'm saying that you need to work if, like, I want to no. be able to pay that half. I get that. I but don't like at to pay least that half. you have the privilege <laughs> where you can go on a date potentially like provide and someone will pay for it. Cannot That's please. not going to happen. I mean, us. I would prefer if it pays So many girls just go out to a date you, just to eat for free. You had something? So go ahead. True. Yeah, no one's right. taking me to El Cielo? Are you taking me to El Cielo? Like, you actually have a point. You actually have a point. And, like, it's because men, like, throughout time, they have always been, like, pressured by other people, like, and they need to have certain stuff. And that's true, and like, you have a point with it. But also, and I got stuck on with the, like, with the lazy, lazy thing, with the job. Yeah, your feelings. With the, no, no. with the job <laughs> thing, okay? So, me, like, I'm, I'm studying to be a vet, and I already stuck my whole arm into a cow's asshole. 
That's go. not being lazy. And, and, I, and everything like I have People to here fuck walk, uh, donkeys by the way. I have to go through mud. I have to like I have to do a lot of stuff. And that is not easy at all. At okay. all. And and what about the women that are in the army? What about the women that are nurses that is study to be a Police. nurse and, or a doctor, yeah, you know? That is, that is a really difficult work. So That's cool. That's we cool. Don't have to, to ask yourself, you what's the majority of the jobs that you just listed a lot of time? Are a lot of women are are most women going to do what you're saying that you're doing? Where I'm working hard, I want to be a vet. Like I mentioned more jobs than you did. You only mentioned building um, building <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to like infrastructure, hard jobs, men dominate that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How, because and men work harder than women because women are lazy. Yeah. No. What uh, makes the other job How lazy? many girls in here want to put their hand in a cow's butt? Raise I your hand. I would do it. Do you want to do it? I have Thank done you. it. I have Thank done you. it. Do you want to do it? Only three I have of you. done it. You, but I have done hell? it. What? Yes. Yeah, that was yeah. really <laughs> random. Because what's the remember? problem with that? Like, no, it's fine. We're just saying, most okay. No, but no. she ain't a vet, though. She ain't trying to be a vet. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Oops. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No, I no, no, no. So no English now. No. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's not, no, that, no, it's no, not no, that men are not right, lazy. Because Casey had another question, Wait, and we got to hit chats too. Some chats. Uh, so I'll, yeah, let's do super chat, chats, and I'll do, and we'll do the okay, question. Okay, and then question. All right, I'll okay. let the girls get their last thoughts in before I go to the chats. Some, some, someone had something? I was going to say Yeah, something. go ahead, and then you had something, and then you had something. All right, About go ahead. the feminine and masculine energy, I have had multiple boyfriends, and I know that friends have, where their feminine energy, like... This is a new topic. Okay, we'll so get I it. Live okay. In a Someone okay. had anything on the thing that we we're just talking about women Again, being lazy? Me. Okay. You know, yeah, I get where you're coming from where you say women are lazy. Yeah. But it's in general, as you yeah. say, it's the evolution. Like who decided the women in the Victorian era had to stay in the couch and do nothing because they were so beautiful for so many years. Like you're so beautiful, you have to do nothing. Okay. Stay at home and I'm gonna work. So you're blaming evolution, okay. I'm and saying cool. that it's been like this and it's okay. changing. But yes, women has been lazy because women they didn't it b before. I'm not saying like now. You you're something? not lazy. And I get it. Like, you're not lazy. I mean, but I've hired. I've hired people to construct, and it's not because men that, well, that, that men. That I've hired hired okay. people to construct do construction, uh -huh. and it's not that you pick a guy because he works more because he's naturally stronger than a girl. He's True. gonna pick the bricks, you know. He needs to be a strong, and but also you know when you do like the bathroom, like the finishing shit, you only. Hire girls because they are clean. They do a really good job. Detail. So it's different. Exactly. It's different. Well, who it's built different. the bathroom though? Huh? Who built the bathroom though? <laughs> who did the hard I mean, work? I'm, I'm talking about the bathroom the details. Details. Who comes I'm in and decorates after the fact? Come on, man. Yeah, All but right. what I'm saying is that we don't pick them because they are less lazy. We pick them because they're stronger. That's it. It's, Bro. Your okay. question again doesn't make sense. Yeah. Some chats. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. What were you saying? You said something doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? Your question. What? The pressure point of energetics is different. Oh, here we go. Bro. <laughs> Same story. It's Question different. doesn't make sense again. Abilities, and that's whatever. It. If whatever has to do with strength, you're gonna be better at always. Sports, even transgender people, like those ladies that are sorry, people yes. that are trying. And to as a byproduct of men being stronger, it has made women lazy. Period. No, because we are applied how? the pressure do you do you I have a question. Do you want, cook? I just want to say this is not typical Colombian girl, just so you guys know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me read the chats real quick. Uh, actually, <laughs> um, you got them fresh? You have them ready? Well, a lot of them disappear, but we got these here. Okay, so I'm going to read some of these chats that came through from before, guys. Um, and we got 11,000 y'all watching. Uh, difference between men and women in a relationship. Men, men almost never believe that they can do better. If women believed in making the relationship work as much as men did, the West would be saved. And that's from John. Shout out to you. Yves Simonis goes, make no mistake, this batch of Colombian women are not as accurate representations of Colombian women. Women Max from Colombia are not annoying like this. Okay. <laughs> Get some Tusi uh, in here. They'll be there. Uh, this, goes, this goes to show that everything FNF teaches universal. Men and female nature applies to everyone no matter where you are. Hey, Amen. I, I ain't say it, but it is what it is. Uh, uh, Dr. B84 goes, female nature is international, not just in Miami. Fair enough. Uh, where's the others? Oh, okay. And then uh, Yves Simonis goes, Lorena, what are, why are your legs marked up? That's un-Colombian. Like, fix that and represent your country better. She's not from Colombia. She, she's she's, she's yeah. Peruvian. Peruvian. There you go. Savage. Um, <laughs> Myron, female supporter here. Should girls that have been through thick and thin and sticking with their men, low income to high income, be appreciated more wifed up than the one you met at the finish line? Which woman would you take? Um, I would keep the main girl that went with me through the journey, but I'd obviously have my side chicks. Um, <laughs> and uh, there's some more. And then there? there's more over there. Okay. Yeah. So let's hit the next um, question. You want to hit the next question, and then I'll and then ladies. I'll, I'll start organizing the chats here yeah. on the side. Yeah, yeah. 
But ladies, as well, also as well, think of a question for yourself. Do you want to ask us on the panel? And we got you guys too. Yeah, yeah I do have a question. Do you want to do that, Anna? Uh, let me, go, go ahead. I'll do mine real quick. We won't spend like ages on it like mine. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll do, we'll have the girls that win. So, okay. You guys all probably in this room know that I do parties here. I'm pretty famous uh, for my parties here in Medellin. And when Conflict. I run my Instagram ads, a lot of girls that hit me up for parties, the first thing I see is an OnlyFans link in their bio. And the first thing I do is blocked. I don't fuck with that at my parties. So what do you guys think of the rise of webcam modeling, OnlyFans, things like that overall in cities like Miami? and it's particularly in Medellin, and how do you feel about the fact that most guys, I'm gonna be honest, find that pretty disgusting? Yeah, I, think, I, that I think there's a man, yeah. there's plenty pathetic, of pathetic men buying that content, so I don't does, think does, men does, find it Does a guy, does a guy who has a lot of options, a lot of beautiful girls uh, chasing him and after him pay $30 a month to get feet pictures? Who happen? Well, people have fetish. Where do you want to start? People, people have fetish. Start, start any, start yeah, any, exactly. Yeah. I mean, if you don't like to date or hang out with a girl who has an OnlyFans or is a webcam, it's okay. I mean, like, everybody has preferences. Mm -hmm. And it's the same. Like, if I don't want to hang out with a guy who works at, I don't know what kind of job, like as a driver, well, that's my decision. I mean... So how, how do you feel about the fact that, first of all, it's not just my opinion, it's most men in general, especially most high-value men. And then second of all, how do you feel about, you know, Medellin, like, they, I think it's the only city in the world that actually has a university for webcam models. Like, it's like, no it does. yeah, it's yeah, there is a university, <laughs> there is like a, a, a building where its only oh, purpose okay. is to teach women how to suck more money out of pathetic guys who pay for them on webcam. How do you feel about that in general, that your city, and even Miami, the, the city that I live in for two years, so it's, no, I'm not putting it all on Look. Medellin, it's uh -huh. Mi Miami as well. How do you feel about the rise okay, of that I'm going to say something, I don't have anything against you, but uh, I think that here in Medellin, uh, uh, right now, we are suffering of a lot of sexual tourism, <laughs> and that's something that is that is, our fault? It's a fact. Is that is that Gringo's Wait a fault? Kind of. Uh, that's something that that is happening a lot. So you, do you know do you know what the term supply and demand like oferta y demanda? Mm -hmm. Supply and demand. I know. And so I'm why why aren't gringos rushing into Bolivia to fuck hookers, or why aren't gringos going to Uruguay and Paraguay for Tusi and hookers? Because there is no Tusi and hookers mm -hmm. in Paraguay. Yeah. It's it's supply and demand. If the supply wasn't here, the demand we we may be making it worse. We may be raising it. You know, make creating more hookers and more drugs and Tusi and all mm -hmm. that. But the hookers are here. That all goes back to the. Uh, Cartel de Medellin, Escobar, that whole culture of fast money, guys selling drugs, girls selling their bodies. So is it our fault or are you guys creating the problem? Look, Colombia I mean, is very... About, about well, one at a time. Yeah, no, Melly, you'll, you'll get your... I think that uh, there is a responsibility that comes from the state directly. I mean, uh, it's a fact. And so is it more our that, fault or more no, wait a Medellin or 50-50? Wait a Sorry, minute. Go for it. Uh, I think that it's... <laughs> the nation and the state responsibility to bring and to have the opportunities to girls, to study, to have like more options to work. Because it's not easy to be a sexual worker, it's not easy. So what about like, what about Guatemala or uh, I don't know, what's another country? Uh, I'll pick on Bolivia again, Peru, Ecuador. Are things so much better in Ecuador? Is there just so much more opportunity in Ecuador than there is in Colombia? Or is it pretty similar? Can I say something? I, well, I'm, I'm, uh, just let me answer her. Wait a minute. Uh, before I answer uh, the question, um, well, recently, like a few weeks ago, I saw a video that you applauded that you were like, um, do you like some kind of, I don't know how to say that in English, curaduría? What? Curaduría. Uh, when you choose girls. What's, oh, what's? Curating. parties. You so one of the advice. So, sorry, sorry. I, I don't understand what you're saying. I mean, let me explain to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not understanding. Well, Curate. Uh, I saw a video that you uploaded like a few weeks ago. And that video was like. A video that I posted. Yeah. Okay. What did uh, I like say in the video? A few weeks ago. And what did I say in the video? That's. Oh. And what did I say? Yeah, what what the fuck okay. is the topic here? What, what's going on? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the topic was, so how do they feel about Sexual the rise of OnlyFans yeah. and webcam modeling? And All right, let's get nice, they, they con nice, concise answers, all right? Let's go yeah. ahead and start here and then work our way, have a nice, concise answer for it, ladies, then we can go ahead and open up for discussion after. Uh -huh. can, I, can I finish? Can I have her finish what she was saying about me? Because she was saying I was in some video saying some shit, and I'm just curious. 
Okay, so the video that I'm say it talking in Spanish. about. Just say it in Spanish. No, I'm not going to say it in Spanish. Why? The video that, that you were talking about, it was like, okay, I try to choose girls for parties that they are not in the Jeras the whole time, that they don't have OnlyFans. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 The girls that come to my parties are not hookers. Yes. Yes. Correct. That's what I yes, said in the video. Yes. Uh -huh. So that's uh, <laughs> so that's uh, that's why I made the declaration that I don't have anything against you, and mm -hmm. that's why uh, I made that declaration because. So yeah. we're still taking on the topic about like sex workers, OnlyFans, uh -huh, webcam yeah, models, we and like that, how they no. feel about the <laughs> fact that in general, most men find that disgusting, and how do they feel about the rise of that in cities like Miami, Medellin, that was the question. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we'll keep it simple, because uh, what, what do they think about the rise of um, sex work? Yeah, we and, could and, say, and how do they feel like, uh, about the fact that most men find that repulsive? Yeah, what, what do, how do they feel about it, and then we could just go around, and then we can, and then the second question was what? No, that's it. Just how do they feel about it in general, about the rise of it? Yeah. And then how do they feel about the fact that generally most high value men think that's disgusting and would never take okay. a okay. seriously? Okay. The long rise term. of it, okay. I'll make it simple. <laughs> how do you guys feel about the rise of it and at the fact that it's going to hurt a lot of women's chances of finding a guy? There you go. All right, we can start here and then work our way. Okay, but he said that he, um, he finds it and high value men find it disgusting that girls have that. I personally don't. But I feel like they're just embarrassed. Wait, are you a high value man? What? <laughs> you said you don't think it's a tr uh, disgusting? No, 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 no. I said I don't have OnlyFans or anything. Oh, uh, okay. Like that. You personally don't have OnlyFans. Okay. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah. I just feel like <laughs> they have, they make a lot of money. That means a lot of men watch them. No. Well, that mother would watch it. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, that, that means that they consume it and they pay for it. Okay. How do you know they're not high value men? They're just embarrassed to say that they do High value men could fuck women in real life. Doesn't mean you don't want to see them. You don't like to see a naked girl, never? Well, let's, let's get all their thoughts real quick. All yeah. right, so what are your thoughts on it? You think it's okay? You don't care? It's whatever? I don't care. I don't do it. Okay. I don't like it, but if you do it, you... Okay, what are your thoughts it. on it hurting women in the long run with finding a partner? It would. I, I would be... I wouldn't like it if my parents or my family, if I have kids, would see that I did that at okay. some point in my life. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, so, well, me personally, I, I don't have OnlyFans, I don't do that, but, like, to the woman or men that do that, it's, like, it's totally okay for me. Well, what I don't like is that um, the image that it represents, like, as a country, you know, because every time that you go to the U.S., like, you are always hearing that people just think of um, cocaine or hookers and drugs and shit, so it's, like... Like, I'm not that type of person. Like, I don't know why you have to, like, when I say I'm from here, you got to think all this bad stuff, you know? So that's the only thing that I'm not okay with it. Okay. You don't like and the stigma. Yeah. All right. So then, to be fair, it's even more in Miami. There's even more OnlyFans girls in Miami than Medellin. And I don't, I don't want to seem like I'm picking on Medellin. All right. What well, about your, what's your thoughts on it? I do have a lot of friends that do OnlyFans, like girls and guys that I met here in Colombia. And I've been here, like, not so long, for, like, four months. And... I, I think there are like regular people that post nudes. That's it. Do you respect it? Mm. That's a no. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, yeah. wait. Do, do you do it? I mean, as friends, but I wouldn't have a relationship with someone. No, no, no. Do you do, do OnlyFans? Only do you do only like as friends? Of course. No, she doesn't do OnlyFans. No, she does not do OnlyFans. No, 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 engineer. No. Wait, so why don't you do it then? What? It's not that bad, right? Like why I don't do an OnlyFans? Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've, I've think about it. I mean, I of have huge you boobs and they're natural. Why not? Uh, okay. <laughs> but like maybe someday. She's she's open to it. But what stopped you from doing it though? I want to go back to engineering. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. What about you? What are your thoughts on it? Um, I just I think I don't disrespect them. I don't go in for life like saying you can do this and you can do this and you're more value for this. I truly think como they win a lot of money and. Maybe we are emotional as a woman, but I'm very rational and I love money. So I don't will do it because I don't need it and my skills are in another way. And I love, I'm a model. I love to be in front of my camera. Doesn't mean I will love to do OnlyFans, you know? But I don't will mind if someone here is doing it. So I just I think como, it's good if you do it. Value men, don't watch that things. I don't think so. Do you think it'll hurt your ability to find a man if you do OnlyFans? Um, I will say it's harder because I have friends and I, I listen to that, you know, and that's the masculine opinion and I will not say and speak for men because I'm not a man, you know. Okay. But 
I will don't mind to go out with a girl to do OnlyFans. I'm bisexual, so I will not mind, you okay. know? So wow. So if it's not that bad and you love money, why don't you do OnlyFans? Yeah, like I say, because I have other skills. So I don't I don't want to do that. You know, it doesn't mean because it's, it's a lot of money. They win good. You yeah. don't have friends to do it. They just, I don't. I well, why don't, don't you do skill. then? Because I don't have the skills. I don't want to go naked. And I feel comfortable about it. But my friends are feel comfortable. And they have a but why kind don't of you feel sexuality. Comfortable? What? But why don't you feel comfortable doing because it? Because I'm working on myself. And I have the right to do that. I don't have the right to have to choose that. Why? But why? But, yeah, but why? What's the so bottom I, line? That's, that's, bottom that's my line? question. Why, why do I have deeper. to feel comfortable? Why, so if it's such a bad thing, you know, and not value is looking. So why do I have to feel comfortable doing it? Well, that's that? the exact point. That's no, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you don't feel comfortable doing it because no, you feel no, like it no. would lower you in some way. No, it's because I have other skills. It's not just about to be uncomfortable or not. Well, you could do it at night. You could sell houses in the day. But and why? Then at night time if you I win enough, camp. if I win enough money with my job, she doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, but it's fine. It's, yeah. it's interesting. Like yeah. uh, no, just admit it, love. So, so no, 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 no. Let's see all the girls' answers because this yeah. is actually very. Yeah. This yeah. shows a lot about female nature. Okay. All right. What about you? What are your thoughts on the sex industry and the rise of it? So. Honestly, it could be like speak a little up, up. controversial, speak but louder, louder. I do not like respect that. Oh, and you don't respect it? No. How oh, dare damn. you? How dare you? Fucked wow, up. that's messed up. I Well, if you talk about respect, like I'm not going to like say something rude to you or something like that. I'm going to like treat you the same. Okay. But I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't date someone that has an OnlyFans. I think that you lose your value in some way. And okay. I think that men wouldn't like to have a girl that shows herself to everyone. I right. personally yeah. don't like showing myself to anyone else, but like my guy, so. All right, that's fair. What about you? Energy, spirits. Are you ready? Call me. <laughs> I have an OnlyFans. I don't use it for porn. I make money and I'm engaged. So I think I'm an exception here. I just post the same sexy photos I post on my Instagram and people pay for it. My retention has to do with my writing because I like to write erotic poetry, so I make guys have feelings for me, so they stay. Wait, you really so think they care about your poetry? No. I Come make on, money man. with it, so I'm not posting porn. So I, yeah, they do. You'd be surprised. You think that men watch porn just because they want to see assholes? It's really easy. They, there's the, the em emptiness goes beyond just wanting tits and ass. Yeah, of course, of course. They, you know, the, sometimes they want the messages, right? And the emotional per, connection. They get, the, yeah, they get, exactly. they get attention and stuff you like write that. The poems for them. I write for myself. But you don't, okay. I can see how a simp would want her to write a custom poem. No, I get that. But she but absolutely she, have, like, you definitely have pictures with, like, little to no clothing on. Or you said no oh, nudes. Oh, I have no, yeah, I have no You're taboo definitely bikinis with that. and stuff like that. It's, like, it's stuff that I don't post on my Instagram, obviously. It's exclusive. Yeah. So you're using your sexuality. Is your, absolutely. Is your, is your, is my <laughs> sexuality, on, on. my erotism, my Yo. sexuality, that's part of my feminism. It, and I love it. Is your guy cool with it, though? Is who? Your guy. Absolutely, yes. Well, there you go. Wait, are y'all like in an open relationship or something or what? We were. We're not anymore, but we were, yeah, for a while. Oh. What the fuck is going on here? We were, we were traveling. We were doing distance. Open, and I didn't, I open didn't for both or just open on, on his end or yours? For both, but I wasn't going around because I don't do sloppy sex. He, he allowed he, that? Yeah. What the fuck? And I'm engaged to him yep. and we're so happy. Crazy, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This conversation is a little too... To what? basic for me how's it too basic because she's an exception yeah and i think that we're you even you that's what i'm saying i'm serious guys you guys should definitely come to my podcast i would love to have you mm -hmm. and well, that would be amazing i would love to ask you my questions this is yours so i don't want to take you know no we'll give you a chance to ask your here. question but i mean i guarantee i mean your you guy can, probably uh, didn't you know like what? You being can an even, open you can even talk to him directly well, that I mean, would be interesting. most guys would not be okay with their girl being open at all. Really? Not at all. Not at Never. all. No guy. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. I actually did. I actually recorded Who a monogamous. Who gave the idea of being open? You or him? I did. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. has all the leverage. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. What about you? Move on. <laughs> um, well, I don't find Dominant men don't let their women dictate terms like that, typically. Sims. That's true. Like, if you tell a masculine guy, oh, I'm going to be open, he's going to say, oh, no, you're also single now. Good job. Yeah. Bye. He's going to be single. Yeah. Or she's yeah. going to be single, sorry. Yeah, so that tells me a lot about you wear the pants in that relationship. I can see it. Okay. That's, that, that explains a lot. It explains, I was like, why is she so aggressive and everything? She, now, she's she the wears boss, the pants. Yeah, she's the boss, so that makes sense. What about you? All right. Um, I don't think fans. that I'm compatible with people that 
have OnlyFans? Dudes? No, just people and like and girls or dudes. Are you bisexual too? No, I'm straight. You prefer not to be friends with them is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, it's them. just like I, it doesn't go with, you the know, mindset, my mindset. Morals. Yeah, I yeah. do feel like, especially, you know, me having a boyfriend, I feel like the exclusiveness should only be for my partner. And it kind of just mm, would make me lose value if I were just putting it on the Internet like that. W America. All right. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> Michigan did something, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. but I respect this. So you have to get that little yeah. disclaimer then. Bro, it's amazing how girls, you see the Yo, answers? the cope is real. Yeah, yeah, Always yeah. Add the political <laughs> right, go ahead. Well, here's the other thing, too. There's a girl on the panel that does it. So they're, they're, now they're going to change what they say. This is, they, yeah, well, yeah. No, I don't have a problem with people that does it. I have never done it. And I'm a model also, but it is Do you think it hurts a woman's ability to find a guy in the future? Yes, for sure. It does? Yeah, it does. All right. Why don't you do it? I don't know. It doesn't go with my personality. Like, I... I like to share more that sexual private stuff with my guy. Okay. okay. Yeah. What about you? Um, well, Colombia is a very sexist country. When you Machismo. walk in the street, yeah, when you walk in the street, you all, you hear it's like, "Hey, mamacita, rica, deliciosa." <laughs> right. I think, but here's the thing. Wait, I think wait, wait, don't say that to me. So, hold on, hold on, because um, you said it's a sexist country. Wait, but I want. Th let me get to my point. Uh, well. Well, before you get to your point. No, you don't know my point. Well, no, no. I'm saying before you get to your point. I didn't say I know it. Um, do you think sexism benefits women or men? Look, that's what I'm going. Oh, that's your point? You're going to answer it? Exactly. Okay, go ahead. So I don't see a problem if a girl decides to take, to take that power of a man telling her things in the street. I don't want that. But if a man is going to pay me to, say me to tell me those things, I will do it. You know what? I wouldn't do it because it's not my thing. But if a girl wants what? to do it, what the fuck you because, saying? But because it's me. You made zero like, sense, but okay. You said I would do it, but I wouldn't do it. But what if a girl wants to do it and I don't? Like we're different. It's not like we are the same in this. So world. why don't you want to do it? Because I don't like it. I don't. I don't like to uh, show my body like that. Okay. And well, I'm pretty sure there are girls that have, like, you know, like they like that. They want to be um, worshipped, and they like to show like their body. Attention. They are pretty. Exactly. They're pretty girls like that. Well, pretty. Well, to be fair, girls. I don't think nobody wants to see it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> do, do you th okay. So sexism. Do you think it benefits men or women? I think. Because you're can saying it in a negative way, but. Men. Um, I think it can benefit women, like if, with OnlyFans. I think sexism only benefits women. Yes, it does. Because well, if you think about it, sexism, there's different standards for men and women, right? And that is sexism. We have different sports leagues for women to be able to compete. We have different standards for women to be able to come in. I think the only thing I could think of that's sexist that doesn't benefit women is like men can have sex with a lot of girls and not be judged. But other than that, sexism only benefits women. Yeah. Exactly. We have to lower the standard to let you guys in, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, go ahead. You have something? Um, so the question... Oh, the rise, what? What's your thoughts on the, uh, Only fans, the rise of... Webcam uh, industry. Yeah. Is it good, bad for dating? Um, I don't mind whoever does it because everybody has the right to do whatever they want with their body. Me, personally, I wouldn't do it. Why not? Because it defeats my purpose in life. Which is? Being married, having an amazing family. Okay. Wait, what happened to you having a career and being, you know, a boss babe? I never said that. I have a business and I can have a business and, 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 and still go home and be with my husband. What do you care about more? What's more important to you, having a, a business or a family? A family. Man, they just proved my points for me, yeah, bro. Literally. Like, this is crazy. You guys argued and then proved this point. Oh, yeah. No, but is that, no, no, I was never arguing about, I was about women being, you know, the right to do things. I think everybody has to compromise for something at the end of the day. You want you have to compromise for what you want. If if I want a family and that means that I have to slow down in business and everything, I gotta do it. And be less aggressive and masculine. How am I being aggressive and masculine? No, no, I'm, in general. I'm, I'm saying in general. I'm not aggressive and masculine in general. How did you take what I just said and take it personal? I'm saying in general, women need to. Oh be yeah, less. exactly. See. <laughs> See, but, but, but not you. Uh, who's it? Claro? See, Claro? Yes, I mean people gotta compromise and to get what you want, you gotta you know do what it takes. All right. Well, only in a yeah, no, I mean, uh, ladies, I don't want to sound like an asshole right now, but, but this podcast. <laughs> 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 
you're coming, already incoming. sounding this like an asshole. This podcast has literally proved all the shit that we talk about, bro. This is crazy. Yo, and we came to another continent. We're not Same in the U.S. anymore. Shit, we're in Colombia, bro. Yo, what the fuck, I, man? Okay. Same I, shit. All right. The lawyer already went. She, she went first. What are your thoughts? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, she oh, went she went first? first. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will turn it to the ladies, right? To ask I have a real quick then, question real quick. Okay. Go ladies, real quick. This is my humble question for you guys. some chats. If you don't mind. Do you prefer an American man or a Colombian man? Real quick. Colombian. And then tell me why. Oh, why? Well, is it, is it all foreigners or, or specifically yeah, Americans? I, I, yeah. well, you know, I, I want to hear Americans because they American, have American, American audience American. for the most yeah. part. Okay, so American. tell me American and then uh, Colombian. Okay, I would say, I mean, Colombian. I don't know. I feel like it's because they understand me more. I've lived in, I, li I lived in Atlanta. And Atlanta? Yeah. BBC gang, nigga. Yeah, she's a night rider. BBC God, gang. Damn, yeah. She likes black guys. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And I just feel like I can't communicate the things that I want to say. Like, I feel like at least I need to know Spanish if I'm dating an uh, American guy. Como estas? <laughs> <laughs> it's like what strictly a language thing or? <laughs> okay, let's say that it was equal. You had a Colombian guy that was a Colombian national, a Colombian guy that was an American. Which one are you going with? Probably the culture, like Colombian. The, the Colombian because national? The culture, okay. Like All right, what about you? Well, I actually never dated an American guy, so... I, but I think that American guys are more like... Didn't you live in California for yes, a while? Yes, but I never dated an, an American guy. What'd you date? Cows? What were you doing when you are out no. there? No. <laughs> like, got freaky with the cows. Give me a buck, like, cow. Worked, oh. uh, she was just fucking niggas then. Okay, all right. She was just fucking guys. Is it surprising <laughs> for a woman to be single? What was that? Is it surprising for a woman to be single? Like, no, no, but what does that really mean, though? You can be single and dating. No, yeah. I, 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 no, I didn't. You, you didn't go on a single like, date no, or kiss a single, single guy single. the whole time. You can be single and talk. Right, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm, I'm not. I don't like to date. I'm just more like a wifey, you know. Then for how long were you there in California? How long were you there? Huh? How long were you there in California? No, just for four months. Four, like, yeah. Four, four so, months. First of all, sorry, sorry, I didn't it was, it was four meet months. no young people or nothing. Second of all, like I wasn't interested either. But you said four months. Yeah. You didn't go on a single date. You didn't flirt with any guys. Yeah, no. Zero I male Why? attention. Yeah. Well, I get male attention, but I. But I mean, you like, didn't reciprocate it. You exactly, didn't flirt. You didn't hook yeah. up with nobody. No, I didn't. That's cap. No, but why, like, I was first of all, like, I was working in a place where there was a bunch. Oh, cap of means old lie. People. Sorry. In America, that means you're lying. Yes. No, I, I, we know like. Oh. Okay. No, someone asked. Oh, okay. uh, someone asked over here. <laughs> okay, so. Again. No, I'm just like it's really hot. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I was I was working in a place that there was a lot of old people, so I didn't get to meet no. young, like you know, and people like of my age or at least a little, a little older. Like no, they were just old guys, and but I'm pretty sure that if I was working in a place where there's like people around my age or like fine guys and shit, you know, okay. I would have dated. But I so just, you prefer a Colombian guy. Um, well, for now, yes, I guess. Okay. What about you? Okay, so... <laughs> in my case... Uh, in my case, uh... I, I just barely know Colombian guys now, but I've realized that But Latinos, they are, just say all like Peruvian... No, but Peruvians are different. Okay. Well. Because Peruvians pay, and they don't have a problem of saying, uh, sweetheart, I'm picking you at eight, we're going to this restaurant, da, da, da. And I like that. Colombians are like, uh, we, well, we can drink a beer in my car. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's true. That's true. Sweetheart, I'm not going now from my place for a beer. That ruins my plans for after this. Okay, so I would say Peruvians are more like uh, Americans. Uh, Americans. All right, what about you? Cervezas. Um, the comparison is just uh, between U.S. men yeah. and Colombians. Yeah, I know why Fresh asked this question. What? No, no, don't worry. Yeah, Thanks yeah, for yeah, the I declaration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just recap in my mind. Um, just because the comparison is between you and Colombians, I just I think I would choose Colombia. I never date a Colombian boy. Actually, I date Americans, and maybe that's because. Well, you're so sorry. You, so you you yeah. dated Americans, and now you're turned off by dating Americans, and you want to date Colombians. Who hurt you? No, who hurt but, so, me? No, sorry, it's is, about is that, personality. That, sorry, Sarah, is that what you meant? You said you've dated Americans, you had a bad experience, and now you want to prefer to date. Actually, Columbia. I had a bad experience. I just has brain. Okay. None okay. of the things people are saying. All right. What about you? I honestly would say none. None? <laughs> like no, So women. Okay. American women or Colombian no. women? Girl. Dude, there's Europe. Or cows. I mean, I'm more of a is European type girl. European, what? Yeah. No, Europeans. Is your, is your man Colombian? 
Yes, but it's complicated. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's culture things. Like, for example, he's not like um, the type of guy who tell me, like, I have a reservation here. Um, let's go to this restaurant and we're going to do this. Like, he doesn't really plan things. So it's The like, guy that you're with now? What? The guy that you're with now doesn't plan things? Not as much, so... Bro, that's, that's going to end. Yeah, that shit's over. No offense, but that's going to end. Placeholder boyfriend, perfect example. Yep. <laughs> All right. Fighting time. So, so you're yeah, just with him to not be alone. <laughs> yeah, All right. pretty much. What about you? So he won't understand this interview. He does. Oh, my God. Uh, all right, and then what about wow. uh, what about you? Uh, well, American, obviously, right? She's with American yeah, guy now. I've never, I've never dated a Colombian guy before. Never? No. No? Never. Wow. Okay. Different. Probably because they wouldn't tolerate open relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. You, you, yes. I am gonna agree with you. Yeah, they would be that's like, probably, no. that's probably yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. El Sim. Yeah. American men are softer. So. Michigan. Yeah. What about you, Michigan? We're getting on, big man. Michigan. <laughs> no, Michigan. Um, Colombian, definitely. Okay. Um, I think it just goes to a cultural thing, most of all. All right. What about you? Can you wait, can wait, wait. wait. Wait, wait, yeah. Why, why no American guys? Um, I just like the music. I feel Thank like you, it's Arthur. like the main thing. Big buff guy walking around. The music. Um, I saw that. What? What? Yo, 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 chat. You see that in real time? She got a man at home <laughs> no, that and got ice for Arthur. That's crazy. Wait, Caught in 4K. I don't even like Caught in 4K. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. What did I? Yeah. Wait, wait. What, what did I say at the top of the show? Grass is always greener on the other Grass side. Grass is always greener. Bro. Grass is always greener on the Casey, other side. We don't miss, bro. Yo, in 1080p. Yo, you guys better like this goddamn video, man. Like the video, man. <laughs> Educating you guys, showing y'all that yo, it does not change. The hardware, the software might, the the, the hardware might change. The software is the same, bro. All right, uh, go, go ahead. You were elaborating a bit. Or? Oh, Diablo, Diablo. Okay. Um, I just feel like it. Go ahead. Um, uh, what I mean by cultural thing Dan is what? Make it dance better. Colombia making that that's better? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like the way, you know, the food, the music, the way, the I mean. The music. <laughs> what, what is it about? The I mean, if I'm dating an American guy that has no idea. You can't make idea. an arepa or what? No, I mean, if he's informed and wants to try new things arepas but for, suck, for so. what i've arepas de chocolo are about the only good arepas take that venezuela and arepas anyway sorry but no but, but continue but continue um because most americans okay. All right, let's, let's not, move this through guys we're spending a lot of time on this question most uh so let's so, yeah, get, get, get your so, point culture, what is it no, no, it's, it's, about it's american? most it's culture. americans okay, are culture. not willing to try a new culture. Right, right, right. Whatever that brings. Okay. They're okay. just not willing to. What about you? Fair enough. Most Americans don't have passports, so I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay, so what I prefer you? Americans, but not the majority that came here. Okay. So it is complicated for me because I like Americans. Yes. Okay. Okay. We can tell. <laughs> well, in my experience, I haven't dated many Colombians. I have dated more foreigners. <laughs> Americans, uh, but I will say that I prefer Americans than Colombians. Colombians are pretty crazy. Damn. Okay. Yeah, All right. Americans are boring. Men uh, and women. Yeah. Pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And then oh, give give her yours. Oh, um, there's one there. Oh, okay. Um, so I've dated both, and it's complicated because I I wanted to like mix them and get a little bit of both of them because Colombian guys are more like me and more and they was like how are you and they're like just just like we latinas are very like you know caring and us that like that passion i miss that from colombian guys but then american guys are more like i open the door for you i plan things i'm more like like the sidewalk i love that like then when i'm walking and the guy just put me and i only experienced that with american mm. so so it's with like what w. am i choosing then i choose more like the masculine like behave of of, of opening the door and which like, one would you pick if you had to Americans. All right. Who's better in bed? Uh, <laughs> That's actually a good one, actually. I, I, I didn't hear your answer. I'm sorry. I must have missed your answer. No, no, but you didn't hear it because I didn't passionate. say it. That's the problem. <laughs> passionate. Okay. All right. What about you? No, Colombians for a cultural reason. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. All right. So uh, we'll turn it to the ladies, right, to ask a question. Yep. And then, uh, or actually, you know what? Uh, let me give a shout out real quick to the guys that uh, gave some super chats. Suleiman Jenkins, Dicot, Professor Pluto, uh, Maya Lansky, Devon Theron, AJ Real, Logos, Uncle Luke 1980, BB, uh, Dr. Durden, uh, Esteban Rozo Jr., Sorry, guys, I'm reading in Arthur's handwriting here. Chris Sanchez, Vanessa, Alex Gutierrez, X2. I have spoken, Natalie, Groundhog, uh, Brett Osika, King Mike, LJMBDS, Chris uh, three, Chris Diglets or Three Diglets? Three Diglets. Oh, Chris Diglets, okay. <laughs> Real, Nigel, Eddie M, Silky Silk, Mayra Fultz, Just Double V, uh, YSC, and then Boy Wonder, Marshall Forward, Sorol, uh, and then the last three here are Maya... Lansky, Mike Roses, and Luis Terraza. So I appreciate that, guys. And then these last few here. And then these are the, the chats from before. We made the announcement before, guys. Sorry. It's a little bit more tougher to read the chats here while we're live because yeah. we don't have a big screen. Um, Redbeard, I'm losing my hair, too, but that hairline crazy as fuck to me, dog. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Always roast me on the hair. <laughs> Roasted this nigga. Uh, okay. John goes, question for the ladies. What if I told you a man's biggest fear, 50 bucks, is to die without leaving a legacy behind and a woman's biggest fear is to die without ever being married with children? Would this be true or false? Okay. How many of you guys agree that a, a woman's biggest fear is to die without being married or have a family? How many of you would you agree? One, two. Raise your hands if you agree. Raise your hands. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, the rest of you guys. Okay, so what, what do you think is a woman's biggest fear then for you? Um, Pass to the mic, please. Oh, well, I, I don't know what's the biggest okay, fear. Okay, think of I one. Do, what do you kids. think the biggest woman's fear of, is? I have a commentary about it. <laughs> okay. For me, it would be not being su successful, actually. Like. Okay, and then who else said that? The, uh, who else here said that? Mm. Me, okay, yeah. But because I think that it's we shouldn't like generalize. Like for me personal, well, it's my biggest question. fear. <laughs> but I don't know for other Wait, women. Wait, what's your biggest fear? Fa Dude. Not having a family? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Because I want to have kids, but I don't know. Pass her the mic. I wouldn't say that not having a family or children would, it, would be my biggest fear. I would say like losing my family and get old. Okay. Like, and getting old? Yeah. yeah. But what about Everybody. getting old without a family? Scary. It's scary. coming. So that's what he's saying. I think my biggest fear would feel would be lose my comfort, well, like my comfortable lifestyle. It's okay. coming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one here. Um, I, I I agree. Uh, I my think family is wealthy. Ladies, I, I I do genuinely think a, 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 like if you're a woman and you make it to maybe 30 years old and you don't have a man by your side, you're a failure. That's my take on it. Uh, and I know you guys might not like that, but the reason why is because a woman has a finite amount of time to find a man. Your best years are from 18 to 24. 30. I want to leave them. Well, 24, yeah. 24? 24. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but hey, you're screwed, nigga. Yeah, but as a man, right? <laughs> I, I would say men's value doesn't go up. Our, our, goes, our value goes up if we do the work in our 30s. Yeah, if we do the work. If you're 33 and a bum, then it sucks. But at least women, you get that value up front, and then it's up to you how you spend it. <laughs> Okay, Andrew Long goes, just because you have more money in your bank account doesn't mean you are working as hard as these men dominating blue-collar jobs. Say that to a man pressure uh, washing a sewer system full of cockroaches, shingling a house, uh, toppling tobacco, or framing a house in the middle of the summer. This Damn. is true. That's what, I'm, that's what he means. Is like, yeah, women don't work these harder jobs. Okay. Uh, that's and what it, we mean when we say y'all are lazy. That's it. Oh, that's... Okay. No, oh, no, no. The best one is he goes... He goes, make no mistake, the baddest oh, women in Colombia are located at Cartagena and Barranquilla. It is only in Medellin where you can actually round up a bad batch like this. These chicks are actually mid. God okay. damn. No, Costeñas are better than Pisces. Give us best. your alcohol rates, nigga. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> cool. okay. okay, so ladies on the panel. Yeah, I'm going to turn it to you out to have a, a, a question or a disagreement question. for you guys. Yeah. Question the comments. We'll start, uh, we'll start here? Yeah. Or, okay. We'll start here, and if you don't have something, then that's fine. We'll pass it because I'm sure someone else is gonna disagree or not like something. Would you prefer dating Colombian or Latin women uh, or American women? Oh, here we go. Reverse uno. Okay, you go first, nigga. <laughs> um, <laughs> we know the answer to that one. I I don't like to date men who have vaginas. AKA um, what you call an American woman. So I would like to date a Colombian woman. Pause the He's kind of right though. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> American women are, have higher testosterone and bigger balls than I do. So no, I would not find that attractive. Cojones? I want to date a feminine, docile Colombiana. Wow. It says a lot about them. It says a lot about them, love. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm an equal op opportunist. So everyone that wants it can get BBC. What? Nothing. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> okay, I heard that. I BBC heard that. is uh, big, black, <laughs> big Black Hawk. So the, this, I want to make sure I answer, answer this precisely. You said, what do we prefer, co uh, Colombian or American women? Yeah, no, um, Latin, like Latinas. Hmm. When, and when you say, because you can meet a Latina that's also American. No, I mean, not no. from America. Okay, no. I want to make sure I like, clarify. That. Not a no sabo kid. Uh, no, L Latina women from the from their Outside. actual yeah. countries are typically better. Yeah, okay. yeah, especially when they have a father figure. When they don't have a father figure, then it's terrible. But okay. yeah. what makes it different? I mean, we can absolutely. see it in re okay. real time. Absolutely. I, one, one thing I've noticed: every girl that I've ever made a main girl, or any girl that I've like like had the best times with that didn't piss me off, she typically had either a strong dad or some kind of strong masculine figure in her life. Maybe a brother, a uncle. Someone was in her life to some degree uh, that w had a masculine presence. Yep. Okay, yeah, I agree with yeah. that. Andrew. Yeah. Because women have no real, uh, you know, they always say, you know, women without a direction are headed for destruction. I mean, that's, yeah. Like, if you don't have masculine authority, women typically don't know what the fuck's going on. No offense. That's why women. That's why women want a leader. That's why women want a man that's better than them. It's because you guys, you guys know that you can't do nothing. So it's uh, not that we can't. It's not that we can't do nothing. I agree with you. <laughs> like I agree with you completely in that we like masculine um, energy or a masculine man in authority, but it doesn't mean we don't do nothing. I got. One. I think it's women without instruction are headed for destruction. That's what it is. I got one word. Barranquilla. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about you? What do you question? D disagreement? Comment? Anything? What about Barranquilla? I'm just saying. Like, I'm from Barranquilla. No, I like you then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, I have no questions, so. Okay, go. Nothing? Okay. No. That, was, that was it? Damn. Yeah. Okay, okay so. She I didn't get to talk about herself, so she didn't have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'll imagine that you find this girl, that she's just what you're looking for. Like, she's caring, she has no job, she's just into you, like she doesn't care that you go out with some other guys. What if she comes from a really wealthy family and have way more money than you? Would you date her? Uh, well, here's the thing. I've noticed wealthy girls a lot of times are good too. The girls that come from money, because then they don't do stupid shit to make money a lot of times. And their dad is the one that was the breadwinner, which is why they had the, the, the money. So, so you wealthy would date girls, her? Yeah, I, I dated a girl that had money before. So it's also fine. back to the thing that you said before. like. But here's the thing I want to say. When a girl comes from a family that has money, that doesn't typically change her wanting a guy that also has money. A lot of times it makes her say, oh, I need a guy that has money because yeah. my dad figured it out. Yeah. I'm not going to date a guy that's a bum. And if she's okay with dating a bum, a lot of times the father, if he's a good dad, he won't let her, her date you if you're a bum. There's no so there's checks and balances a lot of time. Yeah, okay, you are right in that. But also, like, uh, uh, this is like uh, just back what you just said, that when a girl that is not that crazy is because he have like a really strong masculine person in, his la in her yeah. life. Okay, my dad, he's a military. But... My mom, she owns a school, and she's way more stronger than him. Wow. And he's in the Air Force, and he have killed people. But my mom, psh, so I don't know. Well, that explains why you're fucked up. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. That's why you're an engineer. Like, actually, you had something? Yeah, yeah, I actually thought of something. Like, what, like I have heard you guys uh, repeat a lot about the um, open relationship on your side, but not on the woman's side. So, would um, would you like that? Like, would you like uh, to be with, like, in an open relationship with a girl? And is it open on your side but closed on hers? You go first, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I, I already had that, and it worked out terrifically. And the reason is because a man can separate emotion and love and feelings from just the physical pleasure of sex. And that's the big difference. Y'all can't do that. If you meet the most handsome, like, papacito guy in the world and you're super turned on but then he's rude he's dumb he's offensive he's not ambitious you lose your attraction for him we as men don't do that we just look at girls as you know she's hot okay i figured that out she's hot and i want to fuck her now it's do i want to fuck her and then keep fucking her and keep her around long term or just want to fuck her once or twice i don't care how dumb or uninteresting she is if she's going to make it easy for me and i don't got to work for it i'll fuck her once or twice but then it's like she has to be interesting and we have to be compatible for it to last longer so that's the difference why it works an open relationship that's closed for the woman and open for the man because we can separate that physical from just the the like the emotion and the pleasure of the physical pleasure. So, so you're saying that your relationship is based on fucking no, like if you have a, re a relationship it's based on fucking no, yeah you'll probably fuck her but a month or two. 
No, no, I'm saying if it was actually the opposite. Un, yeah, the actually, the, I said the exact opposite. If she's uninteresting and boring, I want to fuck her once or twice. If she's hot and I like fucking her, she's also really sweet, interesting, intelligent, ambitious. We're compatible. We have great chemistry. I've had, I had girlfriends for two, three, four years. And with the open relationship. Yeah. Okay. That that particular on your one. Side only. Yeah. Okay. Lasted for about two years. It works for men. It doesn't work for women. Like I can go have sex with another girl and still love my girl the same. Oh, you me, can't go and fuck another guy and love your man the same. And let me add, we we had rules. Like with the other girls, they never slept in my bed. I never posted them on social media. I never took them on vacations. I never met my family. I always used a condom with them. So there were like restrictions even within that. And I wasn't to date those women for super long periods of time. Like I could fuck hoes once in a while, but I wasn't gonna like date some chick for two months while having a girlfriend. And did she know, like she knew? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I never lie to women. You'll always get caught. And she agreed? Yeah, she, it was, she wasn't thrilled about it, but it wasn't a problem either. And I never had like big fights over it or anything but, like, like that. But like women are really good at hiding stuff. So how do you know if she's 100% loyal yeah, I'll tell to you? you, that. you know? <laughs> because- okay, what, what would you, yeah, like, yeah. would you like Because that? several times, because several times, I would have a plan with a buddy or something that just t didn't turn out. I thought I'd be busy okay. and I'd be like, hey babe, it's 11 p.m. on a Saturday. What are you doing? <clears throat> Sitting at home doing nothing. Do you want to see me? Can we hang out? Did something happen? I'm like, yeah, you know, we, we ended early. Oh, I'll, I'll be right over. I would never call this girl out of the blue and have her not come running to come see me. Oh, what if you had having sex at 5 p.m.? Well, then, I, I got got then. Yeah, I, I got got. That's what it was. That's what it was. Um, if a girl truly loves and admires and respects you, all other men are virtually invisible to her. Yeah, yeah. it becomes disgusting. Right. Yeah. So the, it's, it's very simple. Like, if a girl, and I always say this, if you're not the priority, then you don't take her seriously. And also, I have a question for you. Let's say we were dating, right? And you loved me. Would you want other guys? What? Would you want other guys? No. Exactly. So, but yeah. No matter how much. But get, get would you want other girls? But my question uh, is... Right there. Literally okay, right there. So, so you're saying like a woman is loyal and she does just have eyes for you when she's really into you. But then why before you said like the grass is greener on the other side? And Here's a key. Here. Here's a key because okay. women love conditionally, very conditionally. Okay. Women love yes. opportunistically. So you have to continue to be the best guy for her to continue to stay attracted to you. But That's why I tell guys you can't prioritize women. Like your girl's got to be like in fifth place. Like, it's got to be your career, your ambition, your hobbies, your interests, the things that made you attractive in the first place. The girl's got to be fifth place. But on the other hand, for the girl to like you, you got to be number one. I agree with that. But, so that's so what like I mean. then I agree with what you're saying right now, and I disagree with what you say before. Even that is a little bit contradictory. Uh, I mean, no, it's not. It's because you didn't ask for uh, context. But that's why I say that's why I say women are typically lazy when it comes to things in life. But when it comes to the man that they're with, that's how you get the best out of them. You have to be number I agree. one. I agree. So, so yeah. would you like like that in a relationship? For it like to what? be open on your side and close on hers? No, because we answered it. Well, no, I, only I answered it. You guys yeah, didn't only, answer it. Like, but yeah. been no, no the that's whole, the only way the I would accept podcast. it. I would never be with a girl. I would never allow a woman to ever be open at all. Okay. But I mean, you... I, be open. Yeah, I'm the only one. Yeah, I have okay. multiple women. I would never... No, fuck no. They can't have, have five Muslim other dudes. Wives. Yeah. Why do you want a relationship if you just want to fuck everyone? Well, because the thing is, is that men are able to compartmentalize sex. So you go ahead and you can build an emotional bond with a woman. You can actually like her for her. She doesn't annoy you. She's not a pain in the ass. She's not insufferable. Cool. I like being around you. She adds value. But then there's other girls like, this girl's annoying as fuck, but I just want to have sex. That's the difference between men and women. Men will sit there and tolerate stupid bullshit from women to get sex. Yeah. But women will not necessarily do the same thing on the other side with a guy. Okay. A girl's got to actually like you to some degree and be aroused and attracted to you to have sex. And we want the variety. Too. Yeah. yeah. You, guys you, guys want the variety. Cool, you guys know what the Coolidge effect is? You heard about this? So basically, if you put a male rat and a female rat in a cage together, the male rat will fuck the female right away. Then he'll fuck her again 30 minutes later, an hour and a half later, four, five hours later, 10 hours later, 20 hours later. That's like the time in between he fucks the female rat. But if you switch out for a new female rat, it's a different female rat every time. It won't be right away, 30 minutes, five hours, 10 hours. It'll be like right away, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. He, 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 the refractory period in between each fucking is much, much, much shorter if you switch it out with a different And, and there's more, time. yeah, like, and this is across all animal species in, in males. Men always want to have sex with multiple partners because the reason why is because men have to work a lot harder to get sex. That's why men want it more because it's so hard for men to get sexual access. For you guys, it's easy mode. That's why women that have sex with a lot of dudes are not respected, but men that have sex with a lot of women are respected because you have to bring something to the table as a man to get sex from women. Yeah, yeah. it's like 
Girls fuck the guys they want. Guys fuck the girls yeah. they can. Women live life on easy mode. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, yeah, that's true. I, um, yeah, yeah. So disagreement or question or and mention the word value mostly the times you know talking about the value value okay yeah so uh, first of all I want to know how is your age how old are you how old am I yeah oh shit she's trying to get personal <laughs> I see bro 30. hey man you're, you're on your own what do, you, what do you think I think you're 35 33 33 okay. okay and you me yeah what do you think 35 God, God damn, <laughs> I'm 30. Black dude crack. Black dude crack. <laughs> I'm 35. Right. Well, but why, 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 do say, why do you say that? Go ahead. 35? Okay. So, so yeah, go ahead. Um, you are in a relationship? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I got a girl. It's getting personal. Man. I got a few. In a relationship? It's yes or nah? Huh? Yes or nah? It's open. Yeah, I got a, I got a main. Or it's two. open? The main? No, no, no. It's open for me, not for her. Uh, it's, like main, it's open. Though. Okay, you. Yeah, she's, she's one of my mains, yeah. Me? One of my You are in a relationship? Me? Yeah. I'm a, a man of God. What is that? What? A man of God. A man. Of a man. God. Hombre de Dios. Yeah. That's that's nice. Yeah. I, I, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's why. Remember when I said women can't handle the truth? Yeah. And I said all these things, and then she said, "Well, not all men think like that. They really do. They want to be able to have a, as many women as they can, right? While they, those women stay loyal to them. The problem is this." Most men don't have the value and the ability to be honest with women. Because if a guy told a girl, look, I'm going to go out and fuck a bunch of bitches, blah, blah, blah. She'd be like, what the fuck? You work at McDonald's, nigga. No, I'm breaking up with you. Yeah. So a lot of guys don't, don't have the ability to do it. So do what you I, have the ability to do it? Like, you I mean, can what do you think? Now, actually, I'm, I'm thinking about it, actually. <laughs> I want to answer, so I want to see what you think about yourself, you know? Like, because it's the, all this speech we're having with, you can see this rational and sensitive and emotional we can be, but also we see in like something, you know? As you see us, we see you. So uh, that's, I wanna know, like, you're in a relationship, you're, you're single? You're single too? Yeah, I'm single. So, like the only person here, three of you, like, is in a relationship. How is your value, you know? How you manage this old value man? And how is your girl, you propose, come on, you give it to her the value. How is that happening in your relationship? I want to know the, your dynamic, dynamic, and your relationship. She helps because me out with she helps me out with things behind the scenes. She's helpful. She's very pleasant to be around. Uh, she's nice. She's actually Latina. So okay. yeah, I mean, it, she adds value. So that's what it is. That's but that's it's why. Made it for you. Made it because uh, she has a nice personality. You know, you give it the value to her, or it's because you know she just enjoys being around. You. Well, she's attractive. She has to be, but she she adds other things. She's not just a pretty face. And what do you add to her? What value do you add? Mike, Mike, talking to Mike. Love. Yeah. Pass with the mic. What was that? What value do you add to her life? I continue to be the guy that she fell. Uh, you know, she fell for. So you have a very strong uh, energy, like masculine energy. What do you think? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, it's not a matter because I'm asking you. I know my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're asking you. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think what you know you the answer. What you consider? Like, you are? I don't have to. T I, here's my thing. I think you, <laughs> you, you shouldn't have... declare anything. People should be able to see it. Yeah. Oh. So no? <laughs> so no? <laughs> sure, no. If you guys say no, then no. no, no. Sure, no. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm okay confused. I think he could be a like. Uh, I find him very attractive in my own perspective. You know. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, you're that. welcome. Wow. I have three spots left. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> that's cool. I can be the fourth. Love you, Myron. Love you, Myron. It's a very controversial energy for me coming from you. So, I get it. You don't uh, like the word I, I don't lazy. know. Maybe it's because you're fresh and fit. You know, you're just this dynamic. But also, I think you could be like. I don't know that strong masculinity. I'm thinking about no, this. No, this is how I am. This you I am. You are? This I am. Obviously, with the girls that I'm with, right? They, I'm not like no, no, of course. constantly telling them that they're lazy. But you can see a little. Well, a little bit. <laughs> a little, a little spark up of that, you know? Anybody <laughs> can like that. He used to chase down well. cartel members, so. Yeah. He's, it, it, he's it, the yeah, real there's deal. There's a whole background why I'm the way that I am. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, yeah, you have to be that leader in the relationship. And the thing is, as a man, like, you have to go out into the world, conquer, become that guy. And then the girl's going to enjoy the byproduct of you being oh. that guy. Like the men are made outside, and then they and then the women kind of benefit from that. Okay. Trust me, so. you'll like them off camera. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. What about I pass. you? Thank you. Okay, so I have like a comment and a question. The comment right. is, you said that like behind a girl should be like a father figure. I think that behind a guy, there's like really important for it to be a like a mother figure, based on respect, based on. 
basically respect. <laughs> so. I mean, I can make the argument that most guys that come from a single mother household end up becoming criminals, at least in the United States. I mean, yeah, you definitely want... United States is fucked you have up. Two, you need two parents. You need two parents. You need two parents. Yes, I'm saying, like, both yeah. figures are important. Like, yeah. Keep that in mind. And I have a question. You said that 95% of the guys are the ones that want, like, an open relationship on their side, but not on our side. If they could do it, they would take it. Yeah. What would make that 5% different not want it? Because there's some guys out there that are like, I'm going to be super religious, or I just want one woman, and they're like, you know. You think like, that you religion know. is the reason why? Huh? You think that religion is the main reason why? There, there's some guys that are very religious, and like, they take that seriously. I want to be monogamous, etc. cetera, so, which is why I say, yeah, there's a small percentage of men. But if I lined up 100 guys, and I said, listen, man, you could have your main girl, and still go out and have sex with other girls and have maybe two or three girls and none of them are going to complain or give you a hard time and they'll be loyal to you, the guy's going to take the two to three every single time. Yeah. Okay. That makes you a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it just also, get on OnlyFans, man. Like just get on OnlyFans. makes you a slut. But the reality is you don't want three boyfriends. No? No. Why? No. no. This is what I've realized with women. Whenever women date multiple guys at the same time, I'll tell you why. Hold on, hold on. This is why girls date guys like that non-exclusively. It's very difficult to find all the attractive traits in one man. A guy that's tall, yep. that you know has money, status, whatever it may be. He's charismatic, he's in shape. It's very difficult to find all of that one guy. So what happens is you might find one guy with money, but he's ugly and he's weird. Okay, I'll go out to dinner with him. You might find another guy that's very attractive, but he's a fucking bum. And okay, I'll hang out with him because he's handsome. Another guy's charismatic and you really like his personality. So a lot of times girls have to date multiple guys to get the traits that they want. But if, it, if I gave you the option, you would take all of that in one guy. You would yeah. prefer to have it in one guy. Yeah. But here's the difference with men. I could have the perfect girl that has everything. I'm still going to want other women. That's the difference between men and women. That's the fundamental difference. If a woman's with a guy that matches, matches everything she wants, she'll stick with that guy and be loyal to him. She ain't going nowhere. But if a guy's with a girl, she has everything that he wants, he's still going to want to fuck other bitches. Even if the sex is, like, really good? I mean, if you have, like... Doesn't matter. You want to hear something that's going to suck? You will never, ever sexually satisfy a man by yourself. Ever. Well... Because well, one of the biggest, the one of the biggest components, <laughs> and here's the thing, no, no, you could be the hottest girl, you could give the biggest, best blowjobs, you could dress up as a nurse one day and then dress up as a psychiatrist, and the next day it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Why would matter. you want a psychiatrist? Men want variety. <laughs> that, men, was uh, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. Men want variety. That's what I'm trying to say. Men okay. want variety. You, you, you want girls that look different, that smell different, that... Uh, you know, I don't need. So you box, don't have like a prototype. <laughs> I'm like sorry? you don't have like a prototype. You like everything. No, or, I have. I, have, I do have a type that I like, but that doesn't mean I won't go with other girls. So you like fucking the same type but different. Girls. So what's your type? Well, I'm trying to get a girl from every like you know. Okay. No respect. Skin color. I respect that. I mean. Uh, I'll tell y'all after the show. Um, and then, and then you. Uh, I know you got a question. And we could go with you last because I know it's going to probably be an argument. Uh, what about you? Uh, we'll go with you. What you have? Um, agreement okay. question. Uh, sorry, disagreement question comment. Um, Come back to you. She from Michigan. Yeah, I'm not surprised. She had all that time to think. <laughs> she's like, man. She, she's got something to say. You could come back. Me. Okay. So you say that. Um, you asked the question. Yeah, she did. But I want to be able to give her a comment. But, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you say you said that. Um, for a child to be like, or that they need two parents or a masculine um, and a feminine The father's figure. more important. Okay, okay. Uh, how, how would you think a kid would end up if it's like a lesbian couple? Fucked up. Yeah. What about a gay couple? So you're Fucked homophobic. Up. They're men. <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah, they're yeah. fucked up men? No, no, I mean the kid will probably, I think the gay couple will probably be better, but, um, but yeah. Um, okay, this topic yeah. I think is a little. My parents will sit together. But there is huh? No, no, no. But my dad didn't have the money and the status to do it. He 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 jokes about that shit all the time. My mom would accept it and I'd be okay with it because my dad earned the right to be able to do that. Yeah, I think she would have accepted it. Yeah, if my dad had money and he was rich and because we grew up poor. So yeah. Okay, if I'm dating a really, really, like, really rich guy, and he's, like, giving me all I want, Here we and he's go. like, can I live without, sweetheart, give me your card and go do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> give me the platinum. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Most women are okay with sharing a guy if he has enough money and status. Yeah, that's, that's, what yeah, that's what always happens on our show in Miami. They say, they go around the room, would you be down for this open relationship for the guy, not for you? Hell no. Oh, what the fuck? No. Hell no. Hell no. Okay. <laughs> 
what if your man was Drake? Oh, well, if it was Drake, then I would share and blah, blah, blah. It comes down to how much status no. and how, value they, how valuable they Minus be the Minus the, the uh, painted nails. But you know what's crazy? Your guy right now, if you're dating a guy, might be cheating on you right now. You don't even know. <laughs> because once again, like no, guys are going to do what they do. So oh, she Rich Poor, he's, he's, he's cheating, that's that's right? Steady. He's making I mean, plans I with another know. girl, not you. He's in Cartagena, so we know. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. He's fucking some black bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. You're, you're a Manian, right? Yes. What? So, so is he. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's looking fresh. Uh, okay, Michigan don't got nothing. Okay, what, about uh, what about you, Miss uh, Masculine? Oh, you got something, something now? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's like off whatever we're speaking right now. No, but, go ahead. Um, what are your thoughts about girls wearing makeup? That's fine. I, I, I laugh at it because it's like women all, women all wear makeup pretty much. Yeah. yeah. It's a makeup yeah. for a lack of aesthetics. It's witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> I, pre I prefer if they're beautiful enough that they don't have to wear very much, but if they wear it, like, I don't like it when it's like, I don't like it when I'm wearing a white shirt. And she oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirt and yeah, I not too much. Orange. You're asking like, it, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, she could wear it, but just, like, you're not in a bunch. You know, she like, just likes makeup and, you know, once yeah, no in a problem. while, she just decides to wear, like, a lot. The problem is, if you, you know? can go into a pool, turn to, like, a different person, then that's What if the makeup nope. is all waterproof There is waterproof makeup. Okay, let's, fuck it. She messed up. Let's say you can go to sleep, right, in the makeup. And let's say you wash it off in the morning, yeah. and you're a different person, then in that scenario, it's a problem. Yeah. Witchcraft. Uh, Witchcraft. And what if you shave your beard? Like, that's your makeup, you know? Yeah. No, it's not. Like, that's yeah, guy's yeah, makeup. Not guy's I cannot imagine so you without hold on, hold on, hold on. a beard. You didn't but go to the Where's cosmetic store and buy oh, the no, no, no. beard. The beard no, grew out of your face. Either way, they Where's know beard? that... They, he has no, that's different. You don't have none. No, that's so, different. No, but I'm he's still about, putting bitches. No, 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 no. I'm not it's not about the beat. Yes. Huh? Girls don't always wear makeup. Are you, are you wearing makeup? Right now I am because I was coming to a podcast, but I don't usually wear makeup. Most women wear makeup. Yeah. So. I, I'm, yeah. Yes. But, but, no, but like none of us have a big problem. Nobody <laughs> 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 care, no. A, a beard, I, I, would, I wouldn't say uh, makeup and yes, a beard are the same. Yeah, you're, like, because yeah. your chins, they look weak without a beard. When, when, like, what guys with weak chins, yes. Those She's are like, fine. Well, I, like like. I will say when there's, there's a study also, that says. Also, your head would look ugly as fuck if you didn't have that hair. No, no, no. Yeah, but you well, grew hair on your head. You're not the one. And your hair. <laughs> what did she say? Give me a hand top, bro. Hey, yo, I do just fine. I do just fine with this balding. It's all good. But I will say, there's a study that says women do find men with beards more attractive. However, yeah, no, they are. however, that is not but makeup where you're putting it on. It's you're naturally a part of you. She's trying to give an equivalent. Yeah. I would say this. Yeah. Let's say. Yeah, but you, you guys look good with a beard. Like I'm not saying you look bad. And I like. Hold on, that's not the right. That, that's not the yeah, right equivalent. Yeah, no, no, I get it. Look better with it, you know. But hold on, hold on. We gotta have the appropriate equivalent. And what I mean by that is, so you're gonna say, okay, makeup, right? <laughs> I would say, what if you hooked up with a guy, right, and you thought he was a lawyer? What? But okay. Let's say you get with a guy, right? You fuck him, and he's like, you think he's a lawyer, and he's like, you know, really high power attorney. Then you find out he works at Subway. Oh. How, how'd that make you feel? Well, disappointed. <laughs> that, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that right there, that's what happens when a girl has makeup on, then you find out she doesn't look good with her makeup. Yeah. And the reason why I said that, the, 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 why it's equal, is because women put a lot of stake in a man's status. Men put a lot of stake in a woman's beauty. Oh, okay. That's true. Yeah, that makes sense. An ugly man could still get a very attractive yeah. woman yes, if his status man. is high enough. But uh, an ugly bitch ain't getting a high status guy a lot of the times. So unless she's wearing makeup or whatever. So that's why I say it's the equal. So okay. that's why men have such a problem with girls that wear too much makeup. So it's okay. the same thing as like us saying, oh, yeah, I'm a lawyer. And then I smash it. I'm like, oh, I work at McDonald's. Sorry. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, but we're not, you would probably say rape or some shit after that, right? But we don't say rape after we smash a girl. Hey, I'm gonna start claiming rape. makeup. Grape. Yeah, grape. Yeah. Grape. Okay, so no, I want to ask you guys. Like, I, I, we already know that you have multiple girls and everything. So, so then, <laughs> I'm a man of God. He's really? a man of God. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> so, but there is a point where you say, like, or you think in the future that you're going to settle down, that you say, like, okay, I found a woman of my dreams, like, I want to make a family with her, or that is not going to happen. I'm going to have multiple wives. Okay, good. And then the other question. How many? Four. Uh, Why four? <laughs> Why not five? You know, Wendy's four for four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> can you pay for four? There's only so many headaches you can handle. Uh, also, can That's you? a good question. Can you pay for four girls? What do you think? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, and the... <laughs> Start a podcast. And the last yeah. question. Like, uh, what do you look in a girl? Like, what qualities or, like, uh, physically like a girl has to have? The number one thing, she can't be a whore. 
Okay. That's absolute number one okay. because your woman represents you when she goes outside. Okay. Yeah. So a girl that's a whore, automatically it's a, it's, it's a L. And then uh, I would say not a whore and then submissive and follows my lead. And then from there, you can build a girl into what you want. I think a woman needs to be moldable. She needs to be able to take direction and follow you. If a girl doesn't follow you, then she's useless. Yeah. What's so I'll funny over there? What's so funny? <laughs> no, no, we just I mean, <laughs> if a, like your that's first that's criteria right. is for a woman not to be a whore, <laughs> strength, right? yes. aren't you being a whore by um, having like four girls? No, I'm the whore maker. You're the whore. Oh. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. Okay. Yeah. No, but no, but here's the thing: a man can't be a whore because because, because you already are. It's not that. It, I mean, <laughs> like, here's the thing: women are whores, men are promiscuous. It's different. No. Because for a man to have sex with a lot of girls, it takes skill. It takes, you need to bring something to the table. What if I want you to be exclusive as well? Like, not even about just being, an, like, I don't want you, your dick to be inside of another woman. Like, Okay, let me ask you a question. Let's say you worked really hard and you became a self-made millionaire, right? I you plan to You scaled up two business. Okay, cool. Because you said you want to be successful, right? You said that was your number one fear of not yeah. being successful, right? That's I just want right. to be successful. Drake in the house. Right? So you want to be successful. Let's say you, be, you become worth $2 million. You started a business. You worked really hard. You killed yourself, put yourself through school. Me, I'm a trust fund baby. 18 years old, I get $2 million. But I tell you, hey, you should invest in this, you should invest in that. Would you take my advice seriously? No. Why? The experience. You don't have the experience. Oh, okay. Because you had to get it out the mud, right? And I just got it I, just for being 18, right? Yeah, those are. That's why yeah. you can't tell a guy how many girls he could fuck. And that's why I, being successful, I don't. You missed the whole point. Fucking. You fucking missed the whole point. What I just said. You said, "Oh, well, shouldn't you like you know? Shouldn't I, I? I want you to be exclusive." But what I'm saying is that men are self-made millionaires, just like you, and women are trusting babies, just like me in that example. A woman who didn't earn her value can't tell a man how to spend his value that had to earn it. Okay, but if I have earned my value as well. Does no, that you don't. change the situation? Women don't earn their value. We don't? Women are born you with their value. You can earn your money value. You can't earn your sexual value. You're born with it. I'm talking about in dating. I used an analogy. I don't know if you saw what I did there. But yeah. women are born with their value. At 18 years old, their sexual value. if Keep you're it. hot enough, you can go and get a millionaire. Your looks. Me at yeah. 18 years old, when he says value, he doesn't no mean girl's money. giving me a chance. Okay. Okay. Fair, right? No. <laughs> but you agree? Go ahead. You don't, you don't agree with that? Hold on. Hold on. Stop the show. Hold on. Stop the show. Let's look around this panel. Okay, let's look around this panel. Okay. All right? I don't want to be an asshole, but you got two podcasters here. Mm -hmm. World known. People know who we are, etc. A lot of you girls don't have a platform. No one knows who you are. You guys are 19, 20, 21, 22. Maybe your life hasn't been accomplished the same way, but you guys are here on a podcast. What does it take for a man to be on the podcast with us? He has to bring something to the table. People have to know him. He has to have some status. He has to bring value, but women don't. This, is, this podcast right now is exemplifying that women don't have to necessarily become something to get certain opportunities in life, but men have to. I think we have. I think we are not just like someone with no value. Put the mic. Okay. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you guys... Melly, 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 take the mic. Take the yeah, mic. take the mic. You're missing my point. Yeah. For a man to sit where you're sitting, he's got to be a somebody. Right? Like Casey. Like, yeah, you he's got to be a somebody. Nice Maybe a big YouTube, a big Instagram, bring value, multimillionaire, billionaire, whatever it is. Yeah. He's got to be a somebody. <laughs> but with you guys, you guys are just girls. Cool. You guys are here. Just that, that's the same thing. Like, women are even invited on yachts. But if we just because speak, they're females. If we, if we didn't speak English, we couldn't be here. That's like, true. That's is, true. is that the barrier? No. Speak English? No, no. 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 it wasn't a barrier. But he, okay, so we were no, invited because Arabic. we had something no, to say. No, it's not that like he, he I, 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 You are right. Like I have actually Thank an you. example. Like the, There is a party tomorrow that I'm going to work in there. I'm going to be paid for that. And I have a friend. And he like I was telling him that I was going to be paid for that party. And he was like, oh, my God, I'm paying like a bunch of money to be in that fucking party. And you've been paid for, to be there? And I'm like, well... It is what it is. Privilege. I mean, sorry, but yeah. Sexist, yeah. man. It's yeah, like, and that's... Pretty privileged is the thing. Because she, she's trying to say, oh, I want the guy to be exclusive. You don't really get to tell him anything because he worked to get to where he's at. And what if I have worked to... I mean... No one cares about a woman's career. Your money doesn't matter. That doesn't make but you sexy. But that is misogynist now. Like, if I have worked Double all my life, I do the exact same thing as you do. Like, I work, I study, I do everything, and I get, I get to be successful. Yeah. Men and women are not the same. What if, how about this? How about if I had a suit collection just as big as yours, 
It took me just as long to get dressed, and I'm just as pretty as you. Would it matter? I mean, like, you, <laughs> you get care? to tell me. Do you care? Yes. Really? I mean. You care about your man's shoes? What? What? You care about your man's yeah, shoes? That just proved yeah. it right there. I cannot understand what Do you're you saying. Do you care about your man's shoes, what he wears? Yes. 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 His whole collection? Yes. yes. Every single one? Everything. His Gucci Bro, shoes. Uh, Bro, really? Actually, yes. I mean. Wearing his clothes? Well, you're a weirdo then. Most girls don't like that. I'm just saying. Well, Look, I'm going to make it very simple, ladies. Men don't give a fuck about your career. We don't give a fuck about your education. We don't care about any of that stuff. Are you pretty? Are you not a whore? Are you going to be good to me? Yeah. Boom. That's all men care about. If you have a career, good for you. Awesome. If you're smart, great. You're inquisitive, even better. But men in general don't give a fuck about any of that stuff. I would like to find the exception to that rule, if I'm being honest with you. All right. <laughs> but most men matters for keeping you around you? long term. Like why, for, for, why for initial just sexual attraction, just can my dick get hard and I want to fuck you? It's only looks. But then as you want to continue to date you, that's when all that other stuff why comes into then, play. Then for instance, find... like when guys met me, they and I it is it could sound funny, but then I don't get that many, or maybe I don't notice that, like I don't respond. But then I don't get that many guys that approach me because they say like you're really intimidating. Or something like that. It's intimidating. That's a that's a yeah. fancy way of saying you're annoying. I'll be honest. Or you're, or you're masculine. Yeah. When men say you're intimidating yeah. or anything like that, that's a that's that's men being nice about saying like you're really aggressive. But if they don't know me, how do they know that? Well, give. Here's the thing. Men aren't stupid, right? If a woman's in a career, and she's successful yeah. and she makes money, yes. What does it take to be successful? A lot of effort. Drive, okay. ambition. But yeah. th let me, t I'll tell you, because if you look at like millionaires or people that are successful, they have the same traits. Non-agreeable, assertive, dominant, competitive. Okay. These are things that men don't care about. Okay. That's like dating another guy. But then for instance, like uh, <laughs> if when they see me just like a sexual, like a product, I don't like it. I like to offer more than that, you know? Yeah, but, <laughs> but that's why, but that's why they'll career, see you though. just that way because they'll be like, okay, well, she's hot. But she's also kind of like a guy, okay. so they'll they'll play the game to yeah, try to get you sex. You add value in different yeah. ways. So, so when you go to McDonald's, what do you go for? I don't go to McDonald's. Yeah, okay, either. let's say <laughs> a restaurant here in <laughs> Colombia. Let's say Wendy's or something or a Subway, right? Mm -hmm. You go for subs. Uh, when men uh, when men come to you, they come for what? When men come for me, they come for what? What do they come for? With the burger baby. <laughs> they, they come for sex and okay. your sexuality. Yeah. So even though you don't like that, that's what they're coming for. And then yeah. after that, you build upon that, for example, your personality. Yes, we can for offer sure. them. So that's the beginning stage. Or you of what might they annoy want. them and they only look at you for sex. No, yeah. no. Mm -hmm. They never said that I annoy to they're them. They're never going to say that. They won't say, oh, that's what face. we're telling you. But men, men, men never tell women the truth. Yeah. If you guys notice, as soon as I told you all the truth, women are lazy. <gasps> oh, what are you saying? Men can't tell the truth. But most of us think women are lazy. It, it is it is true. Actually, I remember I had a boyfriend that once told me, like, I don't care that you're an engineer. I just like your huge boobs. And I was like, Ugh. yeah, we don't care about none but of that. Is it true? And you know what? The thing <laughs> is, like, I I've dated guys in my percent. life. <laughs> I've, I've dated guys that, that did less money than me. And for them, for them, it was, like, really amazing that I was an engineer. And, whoa, like, you're amazing. But just because they are behind me. Yes. And, like, the guys that have been upper me, they really don't care. What Successful I've been men so don't right care. now, you know, honestly, right now, I'm not doing engineering. I'm just pretending to be a stupid girl. Like, <laughs> yes. See? Is, you're, he, life on. is easier, you but know? Hold on. But hold on. See, you Sorry, can do but that. Yeah. Life if is easier. A, if it was a man, he would have to continue to be an engineer. He can't use his tits. Uh, yeah, that's you got true. Something? You you got it. Yes. Question or disagreement or something? I have a question. Yeah. Um, who heard you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Ask? I knew that was gonna. I knew this one was gonna say no, that. She I, said, that's she not said my question. I'm, okay. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> this is controversial, and maybe you have. He had an answer. Like the has, face says really everything. Hard. He's been asked that about ten yeah. trillion times I mean, in his uh, life. Here's the thing, like. I don't think, you, um, and it's funny when someone says, uh, who hurt you anytime you state a fact, typically they get mad at you stating facts or things that are generally true. Um, I mean, if I say the sky is blue and the grass is green and sometimes it rains and it sucks, does that mean that this is who hurt me? No, it's just, I'm just observing a fact. But what I've realized is you can't really criticize women without them saying who hurt you. Without saying what? I, you cannot criticize women without them saying who hurt it's, you. It's not that. Also, like I wanted to, had his heart before broken. my question, I wanted to add something to what you said mm -hmm. about like, yeah, like 
women don't care about what we do and that's why we shouldn't care like just do what yeah, you do I and you don't care things. like just do your money and get your money and, and he will give you money usually they want to make a money no. with you like uh, they don't like when you do like all the stuff in the future if they see you like a potential partner Oh, well. no, like I would say, let's say my part, I do vet and I like what I do and I don't do it because of a man. But let's exactly. Say, right. But let's say I have a man and he literally does not care what I do, but he cares about me. You know, that he does. That doesn't mean that he's going to like uh, make me not do vet. You know, he doesn't mean he's going to be like he just doesn't care. But I care. So I just do it. Exactly. It's not like I'm doing anything bad. In other words, a woman's status and income has no bearing on her ability to find a man. Yeah, and I agree with that. But a man's status and income definitely matters, yeah. right? Perfect example, I don't mean to bully you, but she has a good, good, a good degree, right? Engineer. But she has the ability now to say, you know what? I don't want to fucking do this no more. I'm going to hang Go out and chill. And pay. Yeah. Yeah. Get paid. <laughs> but a man can't do that. We, we don't have the privilege of being able to work when we feel like it. Yeah. Because no girl's going to come in and take care of us. But if you're a woman, a guy will, if you're hot enough, a guy will come in and take care of you. Okay, I had a question. It's well, a controversial, okay. uh, but okay. I want I want to know, like in general, what do you think about when you go on a first date, like having sex on the first date? Like, what's the th what what do you think about that in general? It's actually a pretty good question. Yeah. What's wrong with it? No, no, because it's maybe it's <laughs> something like um, you have talked about it before too much. I don't know. Just asking. I mean, so look, think? my thing is like obviously speaking, if you're into somebody, both parties want to have that connection then go for it but my thing is like obviously some guys take it as okay if she does the first night she might be considered a whore but the guy's capable he's used to the game he knows what's going on the connection's there why not just go for it so that's my take on yeah, it. I, I like it when i fuck him on the first night yeah me too. If, if they're not going to be entertaining enough to for me or interesting enough for me to keep them around like they lose their place in line basically like i, I don't I, I if i really am crazy about her if she speaks english and she's bisexual and we have an amazing chemistry, amazing connection. I wait up to three or four dates max, maybe. That would probably be a, a preferable, but I definitely wouldn't like write a girl off because we fucked on the first night. So I'll say this. A girl isn't a whore for having sex on the first night. A girl's a whore from other things that she might have done because my thing is I look at it like if you're that guy and she's like, I'm attracted to this guy, I like this guy, etc. and she has sex with him quickly, that doesn't necessarily mean she's a whore. But this is why I tell guys all the time, you need to date a girl for six months to a year to, get, to vet her. You have, to, you have to look at her character, how she behaves, because girls that are sluts, they can't take, keep the mask off forever. The, the mask is going to come off eventually, and you'll be able to tell. You know, and there's a bunch of ways that we tell that girls are sluts, but um, just because a girl has sex with you quickly isn't necessarily mean she's a whore. And all my long-term, like, girls, first night, yeah. sex. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. 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 That's important. Yeah. 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 Wow. So, but there's other things that make a girl, like, not wife material besides just that. Yeah. Public Instagram showing a lot of skin with a lot of followers. Being an attention whore. A big one is like being being an attention whore. Uh, always wanting to be on the internet. Wanting to go to the club all the time. Wanting attention from other men. Uh, showing her body all over the place when, with her man, without her man's uh, authority. Um, being a sex worker. Like certain things like that like are just like this is an L. But what, if, what if the girl want to go to like club in bed with you? Would you be okay with that? If, like, if I'm there, that's fine. But she's not going to go on a girl's night out or something. No. No, Even if it's just girls, no. That's unacceptable. Why not? Like, why not? Like, sometimes I just go with my friends, and believe me, I don't even look at guys. I'm like, oh, you know what? Let's more have, interested let's, with my okay, girls. Okay, you guys, who thinks it's okay for a girl to go out to the club when she has a man? Who thinks it's okay? Again? Uh, well, I I'm don't not because I wouldn't like who, my Who thinks it's okay out? for go. you to go to a club no, when no, you have a man? Raise your hand, raise your hand. Yeah, yeah. No, because, like, if, if I'm dating a guy and he's not okay with me going by myself, I wouldn't. Most guys aren't, though. They just will never tell you. Yeah. Why you're so shy to tell not tell anything, you know? What is this thing about no... No, not no, me. Speak? I'm saying no, no. most men. Yeah, but what is? what do you think? Why is this, uh, I don't know, maybe politically, correctly, whatever? Come on, do not say the thing, oh, you know? Why, it's because, like, oh, why are men scared to say it's this? It's because those guys don't want to lose you. Cause they, you. Okay, for example, we said earlier on the show, can you handle the truth? You, guess, you, you said yes, and you told you guys, and then you said no. So up front, he said, you know what? I don't like that. And if value isn't high enough, you might say, you know what? I don't want to be with this guy. It's too much pressure. Too I much. actually think a guy is more sexy when 
he is standing by, like by himself. That's if you like him. You don't like him like, him like that. Like yeah, but, and, but most guys don't have the ability to tell a woman, I don't accept this. Yeah. I, most dudes are mad I pathetic. like it. I, that's sexy. I get that. Yeah. But most maybe, maybe American, American guys. Only men can do that. You like, only like, minority Latin men. guys, they say, I don't want you to go out. But hold on, hold on. But are you gonna, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you going to respect it if he's a bum? No. no. You're still going to go you out. Won't. No. In, in Colombia, no. In Colombia, let me tell you something. You can go to, to a poor neighborhood and you can see the guy who think he's the she or whatever. And he tell his girlfriend, you're not going to the club. Trust and believe she's not going to go to the well, club. Well, that's Colombia per se. But in the other yeah, the women are more the world, feminine here. World, the women are more feminine yeah, here. Like if, if, like, for me, if I'm dating a guy and I want to go clubbing, I would prefer to go with him every time, even with my friends. So like, I want him to know my friends, like to be with my friends. And if he, like... He's not able to go yeah, out. Yeah, ladies, you got to understand that the club. But well, here's the thing. I get it that you want him to go with you, but do you guys realize that the club for us is a big waste of time? Mm. No. We got to pay to get in. It is. Alcohol doesn't benefit us. Drinking it for men is not good. Men have to be men have to be productive. Okay. Women don't. Okay, there was this thing I did with my ex-boyfriend and like when we didn't have a, a bunch of money, I, we went together to the club and uh. I went to the guys like, "Oh, can you give me the drink?" and then yeah. I gave it to my boyfriend like, "Drink, drink, drink." I've had girls that for me. Yeah, but that's a girl that for me. So yeah, but guys. you know what you should have yeah. done instead of going to a club with you finding a way to make more money. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's not only women have the privilege of going to the club and wasting time and being losers. No offense. And you know what's crazy? Like men, men can't do that. Where's where's he now? Man can't do that. Where is he? Where's he now? I broke up with him. <laughs> bro, you can't, Yo, you man, can't miss you can't bro. shit up, man. You can't miss that shit, bro. Yo, you can't miss, yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. He wanted to get We're married, and I didn't. <laughs> yeah, and why'd you want to get married? Because right, right, he's a bum. All right, all right, all right. Okay, question, uh, question, comment, disagreement, anything? Uh, I do have a question. Yeah, go ahead. So, let's say you guys have daughters or whatever. Yes. In this society, in this new day, in this modern day, don't breathe. Okay. Yeah, don't breathe. <laughs> I need air. Because I need air. <laughs> would you? No, no. But don't being men breathe. that they are nowadays and being women as they are nowadays, would you recommend your daughter be the woman of the process for a man? The the woman of what? Of the process. Of the process. Of the process? What's a woman of the process? Like be there when the guy have absolutely nothing and he's building himself up and like supporting in all, all the step and like, just like, like, he's nobody. Taking the chance, like, he's taking the chance and the uh, risk that that in, in that man potential. I would tell my daughter, find a rich man <gasps> and accept the fact that he's gonna fuck other girls or. You can go ahead and build up with a guy, but be prepared that it might not work out and you wasted your youth. Pick one. Okay. But I'm going to tell her what the fuck it is. If you take a risk on a man and you give your, bet your best years, you might lose those best years with that man and he might not be anything. Or you can go ahead. Yeah, some of y'all are starting to see what I'm talking about. Or you can find a rich man from the beginning. Use your, when you're at your peak at 18, 19, find that rich man and just accept the fact you're the main girl and he's going to fuck other bitches. Which one do you want to do? You could build with a man, but it might not work out. You're going to take the bet? That's what I'll tell my daughter. So she knows going in with her eyes wide open what's going to happen. Facts. Okay. And do you want children? Yeah. Oh. Hopefully not a daughter. But oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gay son hopefully. or thought that? Yeah, it's going to be your headache. Yeah, yeah. And your karma. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell her the <laughs> truth. <laughs> if That's going to happen. You know what? For sure. I'm going to tell her the truth. Though. I'm not going to lie to her like the TV. I'm going to tell her, you, you know what? You're better off just finding a rich guy like daddy. And then, because uh, I'm tired of taking care of you. And let him go fuck <laughs> other bitches. And I agree about the, the resources and the wealthy part, but moreover than that, you got to date a real man. You get a dominant, masculine fucking man. Do Don't date a those? fucking weak guy. Yeah. I, you know, if I had to choose between that's, that's one or the two. Question. Where I do you find those, those guys? Question. Where are they? <laughs> They're hard to find. Uh, They're hard to find. One, 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 qu one uh, another question. Yeah. What would be a quality that, that you would say to your dad that a man has to have yes or yes for for him to be a great man that qualifies him to be a good man honesty honesty, honesty and integrity is like the biggest thing because there's a reason why they say i'm a man of my word because men put a very big stake in integrity but didn't you say that sometimes guy cannot tell the truth because yeah. people don't accept the truth no i said women can't handle the truth so but you're saying be like the best thing of being a guy is being honest and yeah. you are not honest no 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 my girl, she knows what the fuck I do. She packed my condoms. She like, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, I do that by being honest and letting her know what it is. Are you going to marry she, her? Honest with her? I'm very honest with her, but she gets a side of me that other girls aren't going to necessarily get. You know? And then to so, answer your, your question as well, so what do women value out of men the most? Do you know? Um, One quality. What? 
One quality that we value the most value. out of men. I think for me, particularly, is like protection. Like when the man is like, make, make me feel like I'm okay regardless of the place I am or regardless of the situation. Okay, so most women prefer men to be consistent. Because, for example, they start off strong, start off in love, True. doing things, and they say, you know what? I'm comfortable, I'm tired, I don't do it no more. But if, you, if you're consistent with a girl, she appreciates that a lot more. So that's what I say. Yeah. yeah, but men got to be consi consistent most of the time anyway because they're rational. The inconsistent one are we women. No, no, but like, okay, that's, a, that's, that's true. The, that's the whole point, though. Your value yourself, you don't, you're not consistent yourself. So if your man isn't either, what does that make him? Like a woman. Exactly. No, my man. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the whole point. Men have to be consistent <laughs> to be attractive. Have to be. Uh, okay. And then well, what what you, you, and then we'll give it to her. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. So what's the best uh, advice you can give us? I mean... Can you girl? speak up? Yeah. She said the best advice to give the a girl? The best advice to give the, us. The to best advice to give to the girls. All the girls, yeah. Be useful to your guy. Yeah. That's how you keep him. Mm. I think a lot of girls think just be attractive and give him sex and maybe make a yeah. sandwich every Monday. No, that's not enough. To really keep a guy, especially a guy that's attractive, that has the option of getting other women, you have to understand that you're competing with other girls and you got to make it where even if he goes and fucks another bitch, make him say, damn, I miss my girlfriend. And if you, can, if you have that level, you win. And I know a lot of you guys are like, what the fuck? You, you're telling me he, like, he's going to go fuck another bitch? Yeah. Can Make I ask him you appreciate a question? you. When he ha when, this is how you know you won. If he's having sex with other girls and saying, damn, I miss my girl, yeah. you did a good job. Does it matter the way he does it? What do you mean? Like, Bye. like for example, okay, if you're telling me, okay, and, and with other women or whatever, does it matter? Should women have in consideration when it comes to a high, a high value man that that man is exposed, is being exposed with other women publicly, pub, public? I think public. you can have a discussion publicly, about that. Yeah. You, you and your man like, can have a discussion about that. You make him lose certain way, or is it, or is it okay just because you you gain a status yeah. in I, life? I think I think you should have a discussion with him about that, right? Because I think if you talk to the guy and he's having sex with other girls, whatever, and you say, hey, listen. Please just don't embarrass me. Don't fuck my best friend or some shit like that. Yeah. I think most guys would. It's like I already explained understand. the rules yeah. I have with yeah. my girl, right? Yeah. I, I think, never posted I think other girls on social media. Yeah. I never so, took so, them on vacation. They never slept in my bed. But so many women yeah. are emotional and they won't even, was, like, it, you can't even get there with 99% of women. I yeah. think if a girl does do that, that's going to set you apart. Nothing, too. You want to set yourself apart from other women. You said getting advice for women. If you say, look, I don't give a fuck if you fuck other girls. Just come home to me. You're going to diversify yourself from 99% of women. Yep. Just off of that alone. And he won't leave. Yeah, you he have to leave. understand that the qualities that make us men attractive are very fucking different from what makes you attractive. Watch their content, watch their podcasts, other podcasts like that. Listen to Andrew Tate. And really You'll sit there man. and think, get out a piece of paper and literally make notes. Okay, what can I offer besides my wet pussy to this man? Be agreeable, support him, have interesting conversation, be, support him in his business. Anything you like, literally sit there like, what could I do? And here's the thing. No, no, no. I'm looking at all their faces. Say, you're talking. Yeah. You guys aren't ready to date a yeah, fucking winner. The girls that are giving me faces, looking at me crazy, whatever. You, you don't you even know why I'm doing this. No, 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 Date a more average guy that's going to be more loyal to. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with average guy. And he's still going to cheat. Yeah. But Except, women want guys yeah. that are the best. Guys Except that you probably cheated. have no idea what men really want. Study it first the same way. If I didn't know how to code PHP, I would go to YouTube and write how to code PHP. I would research this from good sources, literally find out what men actually want. And then like a homework assignment, I would like logically think about this. Okay, I would write down things that I can do. To stand women don't give a fuck, women. though, yeah, man. They don't, they don't care, bro. Yeah, they're not. They don't give a fuck. I, I tried. I tried. Yeah, all, yeah. all we could. You can hey, only lead. You can only lead a horse to water. She asked. Maybe she'll listen. The rest of them are like. You can fuck only lead shit. a horse to water. You can't make a drink. Okay. Uh, and then for her, you had a question because she wanted. Uh, oh yeah, you give her. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let her she has something. Yeah. Last one. Why are you so scared of me? No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm giving it to you because. That's not my question. So you don't say that we ignored you. I'm just kidding. My question is, what is the most important human value that you bring to the table in a relationship? For me. Yeah. yeah. You cannot repeat each other's answer. Okay. Who do you want to go first then? <laughs> the white guy. First. Me. White, 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 white. The white guy. The white guy. Oh, is she a little bit too excited? The, what was the, the most important uh, human trait that you bring to a relationship? That's what she asked. Um, Here, pass her that mic right there. I would say protection. Cool. Wait, Next. Protection? What if he shows up? <laughs> what if he shows up, nigga? What the fuck? Hey. Yo, what if he shows up, bro? Let's, let's, 
That's so corny. <laughs> All right, listen, man. We, we got weapons and shit, too. There's a lot more than muscles. <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll put holes in you then. We'll see what happens. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, God, come on, man. Where are you two? Oh, man. Right. Okay. What, what about you? Um, <laughs> shit. I would say uh, good thing, man. <laughs> BBC. We good said about, like, <laughs> human I know, value. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so I would just say, <laughs> I would say value-wise, I do bring um, being consistent. And I think for the most part, I've realized that, like, if I really care about a girl, I want to make sure that she's happy. But at the same time, like, I'm happy first. But by me being happy, I'm going to be consistent because that means what does she like? What does she want? Once my needs are met, her needs will be met as well. You just had to say a word. Huh? You just had to say a word. Word? A word. You just had to say a word. One word. One Consistency? Oh. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Now you. <laughs> Leadership with, with, and guidance. Now I want to make a comment. As you guys can tell, every dynamic with every human is completely different. You can make your own world with your own rules, and you can be happy as long as you're honest with yourself. So this conversation is not very valuable in any way, but it was very entertaining to be part of it. So thank you for having me. And you should come to my podcast. Look, look, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's That was go. very disrespectful. Um, to go uh, to say, oh yeah, this conversation, blah blah. I think a lot of the women take, took away some tidbits here that they could use in, in the future, um, because men rarely, if ever, are honest and speak openly about um, the male experience, especially when it comes to dealing with the opposite gender. So I mean, I get you're it. Late. You're late. Andrew Tate did it first. I'm sorry. You're late. I'm late. How? To the conversation. How so? A lot of people talk about it. You said you Andrew can, Tate you talked about to, it first. You just have to just ask. You said Andrew Tate talked about it first. Yeah, or not even that. It's been happening for years. You guys are t letting everyone know your needs, correct? <laughs> That's how you find someone. Whose message is this? Yo. Yeah, are you aware that Andrew Tate is a good friend of ours, and we've been talking with this about him for years? Yeah, I've seen your videos together. Okay. So what do you mean he talked about it for? I don't get your angle. Yeah, no one talked about spirituality before you? Oh, You're late. Oh, You're late to the conversation. Everyone, though. I never said that. You're but saying that You just that said that, for that me. we're late because someone else talked about red pill issues before us. You're saying that you're being useful through talking about those topics. But what if we talked about harmonizing this dynamic instead of shitting at each other and slamming each other and just finding the great area that works for Who's people and humans and working for a collective consciousness instead of just being at a war with our generous... How do you okay, say generous? see, so let me be very honest about this. I get it, you know, the, the woo-woo, hunky-dory, kumbaya stuff. But problems <laughs> don't get solved when you talk in circles like you do and not necessarily addressing problems and issues face to face. That we do on our podcast. We talk about issues, we say what it is, we confront it. You, you kind of dance around it. Oh no, it's okay. You, it's you. You make your own reality. You make your own world. Listen. Yeah. We, you live on. We live on planet Creator Earth. Of your reality. And there's That's things. What you are. See, You're this, powerful. And don't, don't let anyone else. This tell is ridiculous. You otherwise. This is what I'm trying to say when I say women live in a fantasy land a lot of times because of garbage like that. This is the difference. Men must live in a fact-based reality. If I'm a loser, I'm going to suffer for being a loser. Women won't fuck me. My friends won't respect me. I must go out there and produce and be a somebody. Would right? your girls date Women, him? hold on, hold on, hold on. Women, on the other hand, lie to each other, give each other comforting lies, say a bunch of bullshit like that. Like, you're, fa you're special. It's okay. It's your world. You're just living in it. Here's the thing. We literally just told them, this is what men look for. You want a man. You might want to understand what men want to get the man. However... It seems to me, especially from these women, they want a masculine, dominant man. Not the guy that you got who's a fucking cuck. The so, building point of the said, conversation so is... So, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Because you're saying that this conversation is important. I think it is because a lot of women don't get to hear this perspective. They hear a bunch of hunky-dory, woo-woo stuff that you're talking about, and they don't end up with the man that they want because well, they think men and women are equal. You are and I'm trying to explain. Hold on, stop, 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 So, stop, stop, not stop, until you stop, work on stop, that Frank, is stop, that I'm you're talking, actually going to be talking, honest talking, and Frank, you're going to make a point. I'm talking, I'm talking, okay? You're a guest on our platform, okay? So, right. and I'm addressing your point because you're trying yes. to say it's not important or whatever. I think if women listen to what we say, because we've saved a lot of relationships, we've saved a lot of men for killing I themselves. I think it's important Yo, shut because up. you're able to. Shut the to fuck up. When I'm talking, shut up. You understand? Shut the fuck up. This is not your podcast. Why it's not do you your get platform. so triggered? And if you don't like We're it, just you can leave. Talking. No, I'm no, not, no. I'm not yelling at you. Because you're talking when I'm talking. I'm addressing your point and I'm giving you a response and then you're just talking. All right. Because you're not listening to understand. You're just hearing me to talk. 
That's the difference. You're saying a bunch of bullshit that don't make fucking sense. You're just repeating yourself. And the women here, like I said before, might not necessarily want a soft and timid boyfriend like you got that lets you run around him and have open relationships. <laughs> a lot of the women here want a dominant masculine man that could tell you to shut the fuck up because clearly your guy doesn't do it. You talk too much. All right? So That's you guys want to be talked like this? No, no, no. It's not in about the that. Future? I have to assert my dominance on a fucking masculine woman like you right now. Huh. That's what I have to do. And you can get up and leave at this point. Because you haven't been contributing to the conversation. You try to demean the conversation. It's been three hours, so No, no yes. you can get up and leave. I'm yes, yeah. thank you. Get up and leave. I've been trying get up and to. Leave. Get up and leave. You know it's you have been been a been trying to. You guys are amazing. And just don't forget. Turner, don't just, let just anyone just tell you otherwise. Just get up okay? and get the fuck out of here. Bye, Felicia. Just get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bye, Felicia. Coming here with an agenda. First saying a bunch Frank of Frank in Columbia, bro. Fucking ridiculous. Legendary. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you for the great content. Nobody cares. Doors right there. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, even in Columbia, Frank yeah, Castle, yo, bro. You don't want to leave? Just oh like, my yo, goodness. Clown world, bro. What? Yeah. Just yeah. leave. No, just get out of here. You, I need you, you need to back up. Need you need to back away from me. Where's the crystals, lady? You need to back away from me. You need to back away from me. No, no, no. You're no. You just need to. You don't touch me. Just leave. <laughs> you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. Just leave. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. He's dropping your shit on the floor. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. I called all of you guys. None of you can nice. say. None of you can say that you weren't warned. She was warned. You were all warned. I called every one of you individually and said, do not cut my run off. Do not over talk him. Let him speak one voice at she a time. Came with an agenda, if you were rude fine. to him, I said he will be rude she back. She came here with an agenda. That's I, why I, I knew she was going to do that. That's why you. I let her go last. But you know what's crazy? Yeah. If we went on her podcast, we would never over talk her. Ever. Out of respect. But well, once again, no respect. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. She did not, for such a spiritual, oh, da, da, she had yeah. the cl most closed that's mind. Why, that's why no one watches her shit. Anyway. Come <laughs> on my podcast. No, what the fuck? Uh, all okay. Right. So, any any la last thoughts? For the I'm gonna shameless plug. Last thoughts. Last thoughts. Can't see for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm I'm gonna, I want to make sure the girls get there. Well, actually, you know, what, what were your thoughts on that fucking girl, man? She fucked crazy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. I want to throw shade. <laughs> Yes. I don't know if I want to talk. No, you don't got to say anything, but I, I'll just open it up if somebody has, does want to say anything on that situation. No, I just, well, I just think it was kind of weird. Like, she was a little bit weird. Like, oh, oh kooky and happy and shit. Like, I respect I I that, but, but, like, yes, you were right that she was beating around the bush and didn't answer anything. So it was like, okay. Nice. Yeah, she said a lot without saying I mean, anything. A bunch of nonsense. You know where you're coming for it's not like it's a surprise what we're t going to talk about so just be chill like for example i disagree with a lot of things that you said but it's okay like i'm not going to have a reaction i'm not going to over speak or anything could you imagine if it came into your house right and i disrespected you yeah. just because i felt like it like oh i'm better than you i can do whatever yeah, I think that was wasn't whatever aggressive. <laughs> and at the same time like okay it's a conversation you talk i talk I let, I let you talk. I don't uh, interrupt you because respectfully, you have a yeah. point. Th this may be giving her too much credit, but she may have done it on purpose to intentionally get kicked out to try to go viral and promote her podcast and get a lot of views or whatever. It's not. Either way, she looks really so, dumb. We've seen a, a lot yeah. of girls have done that, yeah. and no one goes and watches their they shit, look bro. Dumb, bro. I don't think. I don't think. Your audience has a lot of overlap yeah. Our audience isn't audience. gonna go watch her yeah, like yeah, her yeah. woo woo spirit. Like yeah, 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 yeah. The world, you're just living in the world and you're yeah, special. Yeah. Like energy. That advice doesn't work for men. Like men have to live in the real world. Pisces. Like we can't sit there and just be like, oh yeah. What I'm sign special. are you? I am a crystal Pisces. Oh my goodness. Oh you're my an asshole. God. Really? Fucking Who cares? Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's the point, though. It'll, it'll yeah. matter, man. That was rude. Yeah. yeah. I'm joking. Aww. Come on, relax. Thank you. You get it. Um, all right, uh, I'll give the ladies a last thoughts here. Uh, you guys have anything last thoughts on the show? How's the show for you? Oh, good. Y'all yeah. tired of us? Okay, cool. Okay, perfect. Casey, anybody? No, no, nobody has. Yeah, go ahead. But it's not based on what you guys say. Well, it is, um, and is that we women we start we need to start being more real with ourselves and with our friends because what he says is true. We lie so much. It's like, oh my God, he has to accept you just like the way you are. Oh my God, no girl, you don't do that. And I think it's absolutely bullshit. Like me personally, I have a group of with my friends and we keep it hundred percent real. Like if it's no, no, if you if I think I can do you can do better. If I I think you can lose weight, if I think you can read a book so you can be more expert in something, I think we don't do that as women because we, we think like everybody else have to accept 
our imperfection and our flaws, we don't, when don't, we don't, we, when we don't even do it with our friends. Sometimes we even talk on the back of that girl and say, "Oh my God, she just say that," and like, "Why she say that?" And we don't, we don't, we don't. Um, Question. Yes. Or correct. In the, or correct. Yeah, in their face, just because it's our friend, we don't want to hurt. We are so sensitive with each other, and that is what is fucking us up. Because if we start to be saying more truth, and this is how it is, and this is the reality, I think we will be better persons, better humans, and better women. And here's the thing. The reason why I went so hard at her is because a lot of you guys ask good questions about how do I find this guy? How do I find a masculine guy? I want a guy that's dominant assertive. And she told you guys a bunch of stuff. She tried to say like, oh no, that stuff isn't, no, no, don't fuck what they said. You're special. You're going to find that guy anyway. But look at who she's with. She's with a guy that allowed her to be in an open relationship. From what I see, because when you guys, when I said that, you guys all kind of were like, what the fuck? I don't want a guy like that. Uh, so yeah. What she's, give, she's not giving you guys advice conducive to finding that man that you want that's going to be a provider, that's going to protect you, that's going to provide for you. We're telling you that what kind of guy that is and what he wants in return. And that guy will never let his chick fuck other girl, dudes. You know what was really rude, too? Like, the way that she asked you guys a question and you answered, like, just one word. And then she said, like, you just had to say one word. And it was like, girl, you've been beating around <laughs> the bush <laughs> all night. Like, yeah. let him talk if he wants to talk and get to his answer. Like, w. Barranquilla. W. Barranquilla. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She could talk for 10 minutes and say absolutely nothing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But, but that's my thing. That's why I had to, because from what you guys want in a man, she was giving you advice that's 100% conflictory to that. And I think that's a perfect example, quintessential example, when I say women lie to each other all the time to make each other feel bad. Like, we gave you guys some harsh truths. And then she comes in and says, oh, no, 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 you're special. You're fine the way that you are. No, that's not the way the world works. You yeah. must improve and change to get what you want. Men have yeah. to accept this, but women, for, for some odd reason, think I deserve the best man without changing. And show it to the chat because they called it Frank Castle for her. Oh, no, chat, think, chat called it, yeah. yeah. I think everything it is also about respect. Because yeah. like I, I have been watching some of the podcasts and it completely changed my mentality too. Because before I was like, shoot, I was thinking because like I was following some girls on Instagram that says like, oh, you gotta act this way. And I was like, huh. But then after like listening to a man's perspective, it is like, oh my gosh, I don't like it, but it's true. So like I agree with a, a lot of things that you say, guys. I disagree with some of them, but then I take what I like, what it helps me, and also what is going to guide me to find like the guy that and I want. Listen also, to men. Do not listen to enough. female dating coaches uh, for women. It's garbage. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. uh, also, another thing is, uh, like you say, we know why we're here, right? We discuss and talk, you know? So take it personal. I'm, I'm going home later. I'm not going to think, oh, my God, this guy said this. I'm, I'm going to ruin my night. You know, I'm going to sleep. And you know what? Something teach me, like, for real on all this situation is... Don't take it personal. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You do things. Sure. If you do it to me, it's my perspective. So whatever also, you want. Um, all the girls' Instagrams are going to be down below. Oh, yeah. we, didn't get, we didn't put them up right now. So Oh, we, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't put them in yet. We're going to put them in. Yeah. Because uh, I know the dudes probably want to send dick pics. Uh, <laughs> and then did, you had something. Oh, someone I saw their hand. Oh, well, okay. I, I mean, after Engineer. all this conversation, I would like to know something like about the girls. Like, I would like to know if, like, after we feel that you're a really masculine guy, that you have a lot of like energy, if they would date you, like if you invite oh, them in a date. <laughs> I, I just want to know. Mad guys, I gotta make this about me, man. No, it, like if they, would I would just like, yes or no? Like, would you date him? Oh, like no, if he no, asked you out? It's okay. Like, yes you, like, you, you can say no. Like, trust me, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. It'll probably make my just, girl happy. Just or no? Like, it's just. So personal. Yeah, I don't. Uh, let's go. No. Let's hear it. He doesn't like me is not something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, he doesn't like me. Yeah. Next, yeah, it's next okay. One. Yeah, I, I. Would you date him? That's one thing I. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, <laughs> uh, but you're gonna have to compete now. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you date here, him? Pa pass the mic or. I think you are physically attractive, but I wouldn't. Okay, that's fine. I could, I, I could live with that. Yeah, you're physically attractive, but I don't know you. I'm an asshole. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I don't know you. You heard enough. But she's like, oh, this guy's yeah, just yeah. a jerk. Spent three hours with him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Politically correct. Okay. Oh. Uh, can you pass her the, the thing? Ooh. I mean, I will date you, but I know, as I already like told you, <laughs> that, and I'm completely conscious that I'm not like a girl from material. Mm -hmm. And I have things to improve, no. but I have to work oh, wow. myself. <laughs> She's ready to compete. Before to be able. We got through. Yeah. We saved one. Maybe. <laughs> I have to coach her. We're doing God's work, yeah. <laughs> the door's been open, at least. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. That 
before being able to date a guy like you, well, I'm conscious that I have to work on myself yeah. and to be better on a lot of yeah. stuff. So that's it. Yeah, yeah not, not just for me. Like, here's the thing. I've, I've dated girls, right? And they, and they, it didn't work out, whatever. They go meet another guy and like, it works out. And I'm like, great. I made her better. So like the, the next guy that she goes with, Leftovers. she understands what, it, she understands like how to keep a guy around, you know what I mean? To a degree. Oh, shit. So, you know, it, it works out. So what about you? No. I will date your friend over there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take him. Yo. Take him. Arthur. Yeah. The white guy. Listen. Damn, he's like, yeah. That's the big homie. <laughs> he's like, yeah. you're the fresh. Ah. You're the fresh. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm cheating on you already. Yeah, please, please, oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. They know who he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's hot. For you? Um, I wouldn't. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll pass this one. I'll pass this one. Would you? Would you? No, she wants Arthur. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I find you attractive. Just, yeah. Asshole. Kind of. That's fine. That's cool. You know. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. He looks I sweet. Think, yeah. No, don't try yeah. to walk it back now. You look sweeter in the elevator. In this show. In the elevator, you yeah. look like like I really sweet. I listen to another podcast, and you, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The chat yeah. saying, "W Johnny yeah. sins." <laughs> That, that's true. Come on. You can look like right now this conversation can be tough, you know, like you say maybe but we're not everything. I think he's, he's yeah, kind. I, I think you're really sweet, actually. You, yeah. I think you have like, like, a, sweet. like a something. He yes, but yeah. you're, and you're loving too. I can tell. I, I just like to be, I, hey man, I'm just honest. A lot of girls Feel don't like, like it, you're forcing your ass. Yeah, I think you're that good guy no. just putting like something there like a little, yeah. But I mean, I tell my girl when she says dumb shit too. I'm like, that was dumb. So. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, because I, I talk shit to her all the time. But she's she's great, though. She's a good sport. She's a good sport. Uh, so, okay, that's Shane Day Como Yeah, she's a good sport. A lot. Okay, so, actually, I really like, I mean, like, you being an asshole. Like, I mean, like, I like how you make me mad. So, yeah, I would date you. She needs a guy to put in her place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so, first of all, like, how long, like, how, um, how long have you been with your girl? Yeah. How long have you been together? Uh, Two months. Like, t total? <laughs> total time? Yeah. 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 What does that mean? Well, or you mean officially? officially. Yeah, like officially. Yeah, you know, we went through a little pro. You know, I do my like my screening the process, everything. Stage. So all, all total time. Oh, officially. Officially, yeah. Officially. Oh, officially. Oh, total both. time. Both, 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 like, both, both, both. I'll just say both. Total time about seven months, <coughs> but officially, officially, fairly, fairly recently. Really? Like that's it. Two months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, okay. <laughs> Well, I, I would say, you know. Before she, you come in Colombia. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I don't ask girls out. They have, they have to ask me out. Oh. Yeah. But. Yeah. The, the, the girl has to, uh, the, I, I always tell, tell guys, never ask the girl to be your girlfriend. She has to be asked to be your boyfriend. Why? Oh. <laughs> or you, or, you, or sorry, you be her boyfriend. Why? Why? Yeah. Because women behave better when they're the ones asking. <laughs> that's not true. That's, sorry, that's the way it is now. Let me hit better like you want to be my me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay that's fine that's fine but yeah that's that's what it is but no she's great man so okay yeah. so yeah i would date you i have okay. a final question <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> no the words like you're an asshole but i would date you <laughs> i don't think i'm uh... i'm not black enough no <laughs> she no went BBC? to atlanta <laughs> she was in atlanta <laughs> <laughs> Fresh, this is you. No. <laughs> I'm a man of God, bro. <laughs> like you said, that we're not prepared to have a high value man. I don't think I'm prepared because that's fine. I feel like I still need to work. I, I don't know if I could handle a man cheating like that on me yet, or maybe. I have never. a question, about and I think that's an important discussion women need to have with themselves. Yeah. Mm. Like, I, what, what are you willing to tolerate? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Boundaries. I have a question for okay. the guys. Uh, will Casey, you? Casey, take it first. <laughs> Will you guys um, fuck a girl that has a boyfriend? Like, you're in a relationship, uh, but you fuck a girl no, that is no. in a relationship. Men does that. Nope. It, it's, it's, it's a lot of problems. So typically, no. No. Okay. I don't need the fucking headache. Yeah. What about you? If I don't know it, I don't know. You don't know yeah, that's a yes. That's you're a yes. You're not playing the He's that's having a yes. flashbacks. I've, I've done it it's before. It's also just a, a turn-off, uh, too. It's typically not worth the, the headache. Um, and another thing too is that a lot of guys like operate from a scarcity mindset. A lot of guys have a tough time getting a girl, let alone getting a girlfriend. So a lot of guys will take it personally, and they'll come. They won't hold their girl accountable. They'll come after you. 
A lot so of guys you are don't simps. do it because you had it, but you don't. Yeah. But you don't respect the man or the relationship because you say that you don't want your girl doing that too. You no. know. No. Wait, wait. Well, I'm confused. I don't know how to explain myself with it. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Of your, of your ideologies. Yeah, about it. Oh, no, it's both. It's both. It's both. But okay. but the number one reason, I'm not going to lie, it's it's the headaches that come after the fact. Because I know most men are simps, and they will go ahead and attack or kill a guy over a girl that doesn't even like them. Yeah. How many times do guys get into fistfights over women that they don't that don't even like them? Yeah. yeah. That's fucking All the time. Fun. All the time. And I'm like, I'm at a place of a woman, so I'm like, I'm not going to fight over some random girl. Fuck that. Yeah. Makes sense. She's not even, yeah, fuck that. Okay. Um, cool. Um, I think that concludes the show. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to sh- shameless plug. Oh, yeah, yeah, quick. please. Yeah, yeah. So Sh- Casey brought all the lovely ladies here. Yeah, yeah. That annoying all Casey, all my, man. my free penthouse, not mine, but I got these guys a free penthouse, the hookup. I brought all the girls, met them all on Instagram, and that leads into my shameless plug. So what I do is I am a dating concierge for the very wealthy. What I do is, I'll talk to this camera. What I do is guys, my clients tell me what type of girl they like, Latina, brown, white, short, doesn't matter. And I find girls based on their specific type. I use their Tinder, their Bumble, their Hinge, their Instagram. I swipe, match them, chat them up. After a day or two of flirting, I pass it off to the client. So all he has to do is just schedule the exact date and time of the date and show up. And then for guys who have shitty content where that won't even work because they got a cat photo and a photo of them playing video games, I also get them that high status content. Them speaking on stage, them on a boat, on a yacht, eating in a fancy restaurant, in a jacuzzi with cool people, etc. So that is what I do. And yo, we'll do a, we'll do a show about this maybe tomorrow or sometime, yeah. or sometime in Miami, yeah, specifically. I'll give you a lot of game on uh, meeting girls online, online dating, all that stuff. And I want to say, I want to say a, a thank you to everyone that came to, to Columbia with us, Arthur, J. Flo, uh, Casey for bringing this together, and uh, happy independence to Columbia. So shout out to you guys. Yay. All right. All right, guys. Peace. <laughs>